no, 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 uh, this is that's Ninja Bar and Rashid. Microphone check one two. What is this episode? What? Uh, welcome to episode three thirty of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, highly favored, narcissistic, humble servant of the people and the Lord Joe Button here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Maul is here. How you doing, man? I'm good. You good? I'm great. You look good. Thank you. Pause, cause y'all be doing that. Nah. Shit. Yeah. Y'all no, that's be doing, not, that's y'all... not a pause. That's you look good. Pause. Yeah, nah. It's not a ball. Oh, good. We grown up, man. <laughs> Parks is here. What's going on? Chilling, bro. Rory is here. How we doing? I feel great. I forgot his name. Julian. Julian. That's crazy. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Julian, man. <laughs> Julian is sick of this Ju- shit. <laughs> 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 Julian is here. Julian's been here before. Uh, Savon is here. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I don't know how he's still here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what up? You see him? <laughs> Price somebody, went somebody, up. Somebody tell me what happened. You ain't been on Twitter today? Uh, I haven't been on my timeline. Just my you follow Savon? I haven't Probably been on my not. Timeline. <laughs> Just my mentions. So Savon went on a little rant on the need to know. He was bigging up Kim, you know what I'm saying, for all her contributions <laughs> to black excellence. Mm-hmm. She appreciated that and retweeted it with a heart. Who you think sent it to her? Mole. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, Savon, with a capital with V. With the extra V. That's what Kim K gave him. And a heart, I believe, yeah. One yeah. third. A white one, heart for one, black excellence. One third mm. of the Watch the Throne dynasty. <laughs> mm. How you feeling? How you feeling? <laughs> Listen, come on, Maul, acknowledge me. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Maul. <laughs> Tell me how proud of me you are. You, you're hey. excited about that, huh? Yeah. Price I know you was tweeting about it all day long. I'm happy for you, man. Congratulations. Thank you, very much. you feeling good? Is there a new name we should address you by? V. No, he's just V now. He might just be Vaughn now. Vaughn. He's, cap- he's definitely him. Vaughn. <laughs> just emphasize the Vaughn. You think you could beat Tata's brother? <laughs> nah, I got my money on the real Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I'm looking at the tweet. That's funny. I, I just saved Vaughn, actually. Where was we at? I appreciate you, Say Vaughn. Uh, say Vaughn, you feeling good? Alex it's the it's God, you feeling it. good in there? I mean, Alex was in the video, too. That's true. Come on, man. Come it's on, tough. man. You heard me say Alex the God, not the great. Biblical. They get a bonus today? <laughs> Everything is biblical now, aren't you, mm. Bar? Uh, listen, <laughs> I didn't want to say it, but when Maul walked in with that, with that Jesus piece, I kind of felt a, felt mm. a little way. I feel you. I'll be me honest too. with you. Yeah. Rim is here. What up, Rim? <laughs> uh, listen, man, we 20 minutes in. Let's get right to the shits. Let me make my position clear from the start. Uh, I got... Uh, actually, what is... Uh, what's the... Uh, when the Avengers went to fight uh, Thanos, which one of them niggas had to dip for a minute? Uh, it was Iron Man, I think. I don't remember that. No, Iron Man got killed. <laughs> nah, but he's talking about earlier on. Yeah, but earlier uh, he had to dip out. Captain, and Captain America, always... right? Yeah, it was Captain America. Right, I'm going to a little Captain America this podcast. <laughs> that sounds like you're back. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I got to dip out on, on our little Hove, Hovengers. Hope Pussy. Rangers How union, you get yeah. that whole intro and be like, well, I think I'm just going to sit this one out. <laughs> you know I'm why? not friends with anyone except for this topic. I'm just going to be quiet. I love Hove. We know you. However, <clears throat> I'm also aware that when you fire at one dude, you might hit whoever's next to him. That is true. I'm, I operate that way. I know that Hove loves JLX. I told you that. One of his favorite rappers. I mean, he, uh, yeah, I know. I know he, that. Uh, I'm aware. He did an album with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that could be. We could think of reasons why that could happen. Uh, Out, before love, with, loving without him would music, be pretty high up without there. music being involved. Oh, as a person, yeah, he definitely loves him as a person. He loves that guy. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I love Royce, and Royce loves that guy. So I mean, by association, a lot of people that I really love and fuck with, fuck with him the long way. Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if, if you love me, but I also love Jay Electronica. I don't love you like the rest of the gentleman I was naming, but I mean, that counts to me too. Yeah, okay. Do you want to speak to your love for him? Uh, I enjoyed this album. No, I, I, I didn't ask you that. We're not at that part of the podcast. Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you want to speak to your love for him and how that came I don't, about? I don't know him personally, nor have I ever met him. It don't matter. Um, I love his music. I love his rapping ability. I oh. wish he would do more of it. Oh, just uh, you mean just like fanfare? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I'm, not, I'm never met him. Oh, got it, got it, got uh, I love Law, his manager. As like a, a friend, good dude. You've met him. Law is my guy. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So, 
I in, in my head, I'm, I was coming in here to let Rory and Maul lead this J Elect conversation because Maul is related to all these dudes and Rory <laughs> is signed to all these dudes. <laughs> True. So I mean, we gotta keep it a bean. That's fair. I don't know why podcast listeners expect. I said this before. I don't expect y'all to go on your job and just start fucking talking shit about your boss or somebody you're related to in there. Mm-hmm. Why do they expect us to do it? Because of speeches you make, like the intro. Well, <laughs> I am not to biased. Set, <laughs> to set it up. Well, that's Joe. Mm. That's Joe. Mm. I operate that way. You and Maul come in here all the time and say, we be outside. <clears throat> Good for y'all. <laughs> You be outside more than me now, though. That's a fact. No way. You? No, sure. sir. And and I think Yo, boy, I'm you very get objective to know me again, podcast. man. You be outside you gotta, more than but me. But you got to get to know me you again. You might be at the same places, but you be outside more than me is what I'm saying. I ain't really been over there like that. Okay. I ain't been to the spots like that. Right. I kind of been home. You've been doing what I've been doing. I've been quarantining. Yeah, me too. I've been quarantining <laughs> before it was a quarantine. thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. I'm just look at everyone quarantine. trying to get on the quarantine wave. Yeah. Right. Quarantine. Listen, I'm so I'm mad that now year. y'all want to join yeah. the introvert yeah, lifestyle. Like, come on. Get the fuck out of here. I've been down with the in the house move. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to always and, have mad yeah. toilet paper. And washing my hands. Oh, I'm a paper towel that. freak. I'm always no, going to have paper one towels. That's one of my many bad qualities. I use way too many paper towels. Me too. But that's through them. For me, that's black privilege. Using too many paper towels. I'm going to buy some more. The huge roll, too. I don't buy the, the skinny bounty. No, 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 no. Go for the jumbo. The one that's eight, but got to be 15. Mm. Yeah. It's eight, but it's 15. Yeah, that does it for some me. some of this wealth? Um, I'm here, Parks. <laughs> I'm here, Parks. Get like me. Um, <laughs> Andrew does this shit, right? Uh, all right. Oh, yeah, you already talked about your love film. Yeah. So I'll let y'all lead. Okay. J Electronica album. All right, so you want to go track for track? Debatable. <laughs> yeah. Very much debatable that this Very would debatable. be... Does this count as a debut J Electronic album? Absolutely not. I agree it does not count as a debut. Absolutely not. Album. Yeah, this is not a debut. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? It's not a debut. It's a debut. It's not a debut. <laughs> no way is this a Is that the, fr- the French word? It was kind of debut. <laughs> Oh, I get it. I, it I get was, it. That's the Creole it, way because he's from New Orleans. It was a little debut. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of debut. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Go ahead, Rory. No, 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 no. You, you, you two were starting. No, 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 no. <laughs> Me and Parks and I have been discussing this since eight a.m. <laughs> so we're clear on each other's thoughts here. Mm. Y'all go ahead and and utilize your platforms, okay? But responsibly, because that's yeah. where I go oh, wrong oh, a lot of times. Yeah, like me and Mo oh. can be saying the same thing, but how I say it is yeah. like aggressive and yeah. it makes people think I'm angry at some yeah. shit. But yeah. I'm not. I'm just passionate about music. So right. y'all lead. Um. Okay. So we can start with the first the- brand new album, written testimony. So uh, the first official track would be Ghost of Soldier Slim. I love that record. I like that record. It's a really good record. That one I enjoyed a lot. Um, wasn't too crazy about some of the bars in it, but, you know, the music was good. The blinding is a really good When you track. say that, whoa, 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 I'm here today. Some of the bars in it. Do you have specific lines uh, or, or, do uh, you, or do you just... They haven't sat... I haven't sat with it that long. But when you say some of the bars, is it from both of them? Um, More so from J-Elec. Got it. I think for that first record, J-Elec did a disservice to himself by letting Hove go first. Mm -hmm. Because Hove smoked that first verse and set the bar really high. (laughs) Problem number one, before you even get to the amazing job that Hove might have done on that verse, problem number one for me here, if this is your debut... (laughs) <laughs> you have to start it. Mm. You, I'm with you. You that's that's a rule. I'm trying to think if anybody has ever started. That's a rule. A debut I'm without with them. I'm with you on that. I don't think I, anyone actually ever when has. it started. I was. I thought that when Jay started rapping, I thought, oh, they're gonna go back to back out the gate because mm. I was waiting for Jay Elect to a little four and four. Get some of the first verse as well. Got gotcha. you. And when that didn't happen, I was really surprised, and I had to, I had to start the record over. Now that I knew what to expect. Right. Got it. I was like, all right, let me listen to this again. Right. But um, yeah, I was a little surprised by that. That was that's that's out of. But when you listen to the project, I none of this is the norm. True. The music isn't normal. The the bars, the the content, none of it is normal. So, but I agree with y'all in saying if this is your debut album, I should hear you first. I'm shocked that I'm I'm almost shocked that Hove didn't say that to him. Honestly. Mm. 
Yeah. That's well, how, who, that, who that's knows? How, he may have. That's how. He no. May have. He may I'm sure have. it probably came up in the conversation. Yeah, he may have. Like, yo, you yeah, don't want to open think. the album? Like, he may have. And then, you know, whatever conversation happened, and it was like, no, it just it sounds better that way. And whatever. You know, I, I, I wasn't there for those conversations. Mm, but I'm of course, sure of course. a guy like Jay felt like that. Like, are you sure you want my verse to be the first right. on the album? But um, overall, love the record. Love the record. I'm with you on that. I like the first one. I like that record too. And I love yeah. the, the the title was the title of the record. I like I that. Too. I like that record too. Yeah. Um The Blinding, again, uh, love the record. Uh the, Pro- the probably, music, probably the best produced one. Yeah. I would say uh, on there. The music was incredible on that one. Um The rapping was was was, was great. I really I really liked that record. The transitions was dope. Um it was good to hear A Rap. I haven't heard him in a minute. Hit Boy. Hit Boy was great on there. Hit Boy is great to have a hell of a year. He has a bunch of shit coming. Um, yeah, so this is probably the... Um, I was actually surprised to see Travis on this project. Yeah, that, me too. That, to me, was like, oh, shit. Um, but yeah, to me, this this the blinding record, good record. I like it. One of the, one of the like you said, better produced uh, tracks on the album. Uh, Never Ending Story. Again, Alchemist. Music was great. It's great to finally hear Hoven Alchemist. Yeah, yeah. I was I was happy sure. to hear overdue. That, I hear that combination. Um. So what's that? Three for three so far? Because I'm not counting the, the first yeah, track. Was yeah, yeah intro. Three, three for three. Three for three. Uh, shiny suit. Could have left it off. I didn't need this. Wasn't crazy about it. Could have left it off. I wasn't crazy about it when it came out. I liked it when it came out, but I, I wouldn't have put it on the album ten years later. <laughs> yeah, I, it was kind of, you know. Shocking to see that on on the project, though I I it was recorded similar and the production is similar. Yeah, it was a loop. It was just. A loop. I don't want to say yeah, and I don't want to say sloppy in a bad way, but JLX producing is it's sloppy. Absolutely. I I'm not sure if that's intentional, but Me I can either. see why they kept Shiny Suit Theory because it sounds like this album. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Like it was yeah, it's rec- a loop. like it was recorded it's a far loop. away. Garage band. <laughs> This see the, this album to me didn't feel like an album. It feels like an audio book. Like it's a lot of lines that I had to stop and I had to kind of like Google certain things and yeah, like yeah. figure out what they were talking. Because this is one of those projects where it's it's some bars and some some talk in there that I don't know. Refer- a lot of references. Yeah, that, I, that I'm just not aware of. I'm not I'm not there yet. I'm right. not on that level yet. But um, that's why I say the music the music was good, but it it just felt like. The music was just, it wasn't supposed to be polished, shiny. It was supposed to feel raw. It was supposed to feel like a, a bunch of different sounds. Yeah. Like, I think that's the sound that he wanted for Clearly, his project. Yeah, yeah. He didn't want the polished, you know, everything sounds perfect mixed. in unison, harmony mixed. Like, he didn't want that. I don't think he wanted that for this project. This is more so like an audio book to me. Like, you listen in and it's stories and it's a lot of metaphors and things that you may not ever even heard about or know about. They speak in different languages. So it's not good music. <laughs> no, the music is good. Like I like the music. The, the Ghost of Soldier Slim. That's that's a good track. I like that. The Blinding is great. I love that. The Never in the Story is good. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying that the music, for the most part, is not. I didn't expect it to sound like this. I was expecting something totally different. I did not particularly like the production on this album. None of it. Uh, I like the Alchemist joint. Uh, you don't like Fruit of the Spirit? The No ID joint. I, I've heard that loop a million times, so maybe I'm just kind of biased. To did that. you like the Rihanna flip that yeah. Jay did? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, see, even sounds like this is like, this is not the norm. Yeah, it's weird. I like you know I, mean? I like the fact that it's weird. Yeah. yeah. It just, it feels like an audio book. Right. It feels like somebody's telling you a story. To me, I don't know how anybody else received this album, but to me, that's what it felt like. It felt like people were telling you a story over sounds. It just sounds was in the background. Okay. You know what I mean? That's how it felt to me. But that doesn't mean it's not good because it's not the norm or what I expected. No doubt. I understand this is... This is a real artsy type of piece. And like I said, I believe this is a capsule of more shit to come. Okay. So I think it's a story that, you know what I mean, they're going to try to tie together. And however they paint it, I think this is just the first capsule that we received. Interesting. So, I mean, you know, again, it's not for the... You can't listen to this project with the ears of listening to a Travis Scott project. Oh, or, it's completely... You got to know how to listen to music. This is much closer to like the Boom Bap Griselda sound than it is to right. Travis Scott or anything right. that Jay-Z is really particularly right. ever done. Right. But I mean, um, lyrically, but, the rapping was good. 
And to me, that was the important part. The rapping was good. I still got a lot of uh, knowledge to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, you have to. You have to with this project. Yeah. I just wish they would have had some more uh, bangers musically. So it's not good music. I didn't particularly like the beats, no. I like them, man. I don't yeah. know what to tell you. And that's not me being biased. I, I like the album. I don't like. I don't like. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't like the uh, the flux capacitator track. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't like that one. That one was to me was a little too left. Yeah, it was a little too left. Like I. I just didn't. I couldn't find that groove. I love the outro. Yeah, I couldn't find that groove. The outro um, is my favorite shit. Oh yeah, track ten. Yeah. Yeah, that to me that might be one of the best. Besides probably the blinding and Ghost of Soldier Slim for me, that's probably the best joint on the album. But overall, I mean, it's not a bad project. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not mad at the project. I'm not. I wasn't blown away by JLX uh, performance. I think Jay outshined him, Definitely. which I, which I didn't. I mean, I, I didn't expect anything less. But um, I was kind of surprised by that, which is why it's a dangerous game to have your debut album with one of the most prolific artists of our time, because who's, who's still have, in shape? Yeah. Then you have the danger of this happening, of being outshined on your project. It is a mistake. It is okay. Yeah, you can call it a mistake as well, but uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't have. It's it's dangerous. I like that word better. I think it's dangerous to do that because, you know, the consensus of what I've been seeing and talking to people is they they feel like Jay Elect got outperformed on his project. But I mean, again, outperformed or smacked around. Again, I, those are the, those, those are the <laughs> I, verbs you I'm, use. I'm asking you a question. You, I, I say he got outperformed. Okay. You say he got smacked around. I'm just saying he got out. I, I feel like he got outperformed. As a rapper, I'm telling you, he got smacked around. Yeah, that's, that's your field. He I can't. I can't argue with you in, in that realm. But um, do you think that uh, Joe, as a rapper, part of that could come from the fact that he doesn't appear to rap very often? He might rap what often. I will, we just wouldn't know. I'll say this because you're right, Rory. There's no way to ever say that. True. But without but releasing the caliber stuff. of rapping that's on Exhibit C mm. was not exhibited here. No, I will, agree, I will agree with you there. But recording raps, by the way, is very different from recording and releasing raps. Of, oh, of course. Extremely totally different. Agree. Without feedback, you don't really know what you're doing. Totally, I'm actually totally agree. Even if you're an elite lyricist yeah, no, or absolutely. whatever. There's mad distance between those two people. Between Jay and Jay Lee. No, between that Exhibit C performance. Okay, got you. And pick any performance on this project. Mm -hmm. There's like a lot of distance between those two people. I like what he did on Fruits of the Spirit. I like what he did on a few of the songs. Yeah, I like what but he did. But we, we aren't able to get a fair assessment of Jay Elect, which has been my critique of him this entire time. All right. We should be able to have two Jay Elect verses on a song or three mm -hmm. with a Jay Elect chorus, mm -hmm. with some Jay Elect talking in the intro or not. Or we should be able to get into that. Got you. And we're deprived that. And to make up for it, you give us the best rapper in the world, which also hinders the lens that I'm looking through. Yeah, because yeah, Hove is not here to play play. True. Especially knowing what Jay Elect is known for from Exhibit Because C. Hove loves Jay Elect, he's not here to play play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's not giving you well, B-level Hove. Feature bars. Yeah, to to that point, which I was telling you on the phone this morning i i look at it as jay electronica with this is just Wes welker now like you're in a system you're a slot receiver you're catching six yard passes from the greatest quarterback and coach of all time i gotta see what happens when you go to denver mm. like i gotta see it <laughs> okay i was wondering where you're going with the west welker uh reference like you're, you're in a you're in a, a amazing system i love this because i love hove and i love jay electronica it's kind of and a you system. love rock nation <laughs> Oh, sure. It could be on any label. Wouldn't matter. Yeah, but it helps that we love everything that surrounds this. For sure. That's yeah. all. Um, so, yeah, I, I still can't properly rate J Electronica until I have a J Electronica project. Yeah. We didn't really learn much about J Electronica on this project. I we? learned a bunch. Well, it, I learned <laughs> I learned a bunch. You learned what he's not? Yes. Fair. Okay, speak to that. Which well, is what I've been, I've been, and, and granted, this is hate. <laughs> well, I want to well make done. I want to make myself clear. Give him a little. Yeah, man. I let that. I let the hate sit on the stove. Right. 
long it's enough. Slow, it's it's seared, well done. seared now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta get this is hate, but it's rapper hate. Because when y'all move the goalposts as a rapper, I see it. And for the last decade, y'all have mentioned Jay Alec with Hove. I certainly have. I y'all. <laughs> not, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not telling y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Jay Alec positioned himself that way uh, on arguably one of the greatest tracks ever with Exhibit C. Yeah. That is God level rhyming. And the uh, album he did with all the uh, uh, eternal, um, the, the eternal sunshine, sunshine yeah, yeah, that was yes. great. Um, Jim Carrey, yeah, that was God level rapping and c- yeah. commercial capitalism at its finest, shouting out all of the people that all right, if you got that cosign, then it supports what my ears are hearing, mm-hmm. and then you disappear for a while, and we left him there. But which, they, spoke to which, they spoke to them. On, no, on no, the no, 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 no. I know they, they did. On the project, yeah. What I'm saying is, that is not the bar that every other rapper is judged by. Correct. When you get missing, there's even judgment that comes from that. Correct. He has managed to escape that. Mm-hmm. He has which, managed to go away for however long and still be revered at his high point. Correct. Without any of the challenges that the other rappers face, like, can you make a hook? Mm. How do you uh, sustain? Can you get hot? Mm. Do you have a single? Mm. Uh, oh, you ain't dropped in three years. Are you charting? He has escaped it all, and he's the only one. Maybe Griselda now, too. But they cooking, that might speak, and they've been here. That, I wonder if that speaks to what you're talking about uh Last podcast, I believe you spoke about how people are um, inspired by Griselda's sound and lo-fi movement. 100%. I wonder if this is a result of that, one of them. I mean... I can see that. It sounded, they, it sounded they like he had a West Side Gun ad lib on every single song. I mean, even if <laughs> just we... In a, just in a different pitch. I actually thought it was West Side, and they just did a different pitch. Hmm. And even if we don't feel like that shit, they say that uh, them niggas is down there in Wyoming now with Kanye. So, I mean, and Kanye is the biggest musician in the world. Right. So... Yeah. Yeah, they're cooking up. It says what their sound has done. And I just heard him on Graf's album. So let, let's let's respect that. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's respect that you can hear Griselda on a Graf album, uh, a Shot Stimuli <laughs> album, <laughs> right. a Russ album, right. and still oh, go to Wyoming. And the Free Nationals. <laughs> a Free <Word>. Nationals <laughs> album. And still, and still go to Wyoming and kick it with Kanye. Yeah. Fresh after... Performing in LA for a fucking huge room full of uh, a testicle festival <laughs> with with Hove there, and I say that because it's funny, but it says something that you can fill this room out with dudes, mm. women you might can fool, right? Mm. Women can be tricked. No, you're right about that. You're right about that. If it's all me. niggas here that you look to your left or right, and it can get shaken, we thought about the night. <laughs> <laughs> So there's something that needs to be said for that. Um, damn, I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. His ability to avoid being held. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I'm saying hate, but rappers have seen this. We, we've seen this. Mm-hmm. And anytime you mention it to a Jay Elect fan, they go to Exhibit C and earlier work. And I'm like, damn it, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. I would love to be able to go back to dumb out. Right. Mm-hmm. Every time you talk about Joe, bring up Dumb Out. Or just any rapper at there yeah. at that moment. Well, that kind of speaks to my theory that you hate about the two album thing. Like, had some of these rappers passed away or retired right away, they would be revered as the greatest of all time. But since we saw them continue their career, we saw more work. And it wasn't as good. So we judged them differently. I sort of like that, but... Karen. And I the mean, fun, it's, the it's, funny shit about what we're doing is he spoke about this on the album. Like, yeah, he did. Yeah, uh, we put out work just so y'all could pick me apart. And right, you know. yes. Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> I didn't even like that. <laughs> Why? I didn't even like that. Why? Because Jay like that was him being telling you how he felt when he looks in the mirror. Like, it's y'all a, fu- a cop out and it's lazy. And if anybody else says it, we tear him apart. I'm not putting out music because y'all gonna judge me. I think a, I think a lot of artists that, think that. Yeah. And they have said <laughs> And we music. still gonna put the fucking... 
No, I feel you. I understand. <laughs> All right, what you're well, go date a Rothschild. Don't put anything out. You'll be fine. That punchline wasn't it for me. It didn't hit. <laughs> I thought that was a good line. It wasn't. I'd bet a Rothschild I get a bang, bang for my, for my buck. buck. That's fire. That's a good bar. All right. Okay. That's a good bar. If I said that on this podcast, you would laugh and say stick to retirement. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. That's a good bar. Not if we okay. were really dating a Rothschild. Then we would be like, oh, that's Well, fine. yeah, that's a swag. Right? <laughs> that's <laughs> when you really did it. That's when you really did it. Really, I said so, the punchline. I didn't say the action. But it's, yeah. but it's a real bar. I hate this album. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. I don't cool. fuck what y'all are talking about. <laughs> the hate is well done, I, man. It is, I, it is being served. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I, oh, I hate it. I can't say I hate it. I hated it on I, multiple. I, I was disappointed. No, I, I like it. I hate it. Yeah, I was I underwhelmed. Definitely underwhelmed. Yeah, I was underwhelmed. I don't hate it, though. Okay, that, that hate is my underwhelmed. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't hate it. I was yeah. underwhelmed. You're hot. You're a because it is, it is, Yeah, it but for me to say I'm underwhelmed, I didn't go into it expecting anything. Right. I didn't go into this expecting a thing. Because nah, I didn't that's know not it. true. That's not you it went is. into this expecting something. That's not true. As a as a rapper, you had to have gone into this. Like, well, as a rapper, I wasn't disappointed. Jay Elect can rap, and Hove is the best well, that's, ever. But that's what I'm saying. So to me, that's like okay, you may not Mo, like that's the music. Where I get mad. Stop. Stop. You, you don't fucking, like the music. You privileged consumer. Stop. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. The rapping. Is what percent of making an album? You tell me, you tell me, and you tell me. Well, if it's a rap album, it's a major part of it. Uh, well, what percentage? Uh, give me what percent. Well, I want uh, to, everybody give me their percentage. Wait, wait, from the rapping? From, from a real rapper? Be, would have to be at least 65%. No, 35. I was going to go 40. Rapping? Like 35. Their lyrics are trash? 35. I'm at 25. No way. Yeah, maybe, maybe lower than 35. I'm at, I'm at 25. If the beats ain't nah. bang, if the Yo, music ain't banging, I don't want to hear no matter what the fuck say, you say. Rappers, rapping's yeah. a quarter of it. Yeah. Mo, I've me. heard I've heard albums with great beats and bad lyrics that I've loved. I don't think I've ever heard an album with great lyrics and horrible beats that I liked. Word. And not well, only yeah, that, no, but song, horrible beats, rapping, but... does rapping include songwriting? Because that's a whole other category. If, yes. If we're okay, it does include songwriting. It would have to. Okay. Okay. Because if it was, if it didn't, right? then rapping is even less. And are we adding yeah, con- I'm, content I'm with into them the on rapping? This. Yeah. I'm with them on this. So, but back to my point, uh, I I expected them both to rap great because they both rap great. And I was not let down there. Even with the shit I'm talking to Rory about the punchline. I wasn't let down with the rap. The music. I hate those beats. Mm-hmm. Okay. I hate how them their two voices sound together. Yeah. Okay. I hate it. I hate that the structure of these songs. Okay. A lot of people were complaining about the mixes too. I only listen to them with my speakers in my car, so I can't say if I liked them or not. But you I will car? say that the production on songs dictates how good the mixes will come out. So if you're just giving me a, a loop, so I want it to all the people, because I got 500 ads today saying, yo, you got to kill the mixes. <laughs> but if the production isn't good, the mixes are never going to be good. Now, anyway, now, now, right. now listen, be clear. I think it's super corny that, that we have to be the people that tell you how we feel about albums. True. I think that's oh, yeah. corny. Who, who, the, it's who, hard. The fuck, who the fuck are we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see the tweets that say, oh, Joe act like he's an authority for nothing. No, I don't. No, I don't. I give my opinion on my platform. Mm. The end. And I think it's super corny because I know that the ears that I'm listening from, it's rarefied air. Mm. It's We're not listening to the same thing and for the same thing. So for years, I always get my opinion to myself just because, hey, have a blast. Party, party away. But I, I don't want my opinion on the album to, to uh, interfere with how happy I am that he has released an album because that's two separate things right. for me. No, I understand. I am super excited that Jay Elect released the album. Right. I know so many people like we started this that I fuck with that have been waiting for a really long time All right. for a Jay Electronica album. Mm-hmm. I also know the feeling of releasing an album after a while, especially, I don't know the feeling of being this anticipated, mm-hmm. but that feeling is good. Right. Um, the outpouring of love you get when you drop is great. To drop a fucking duet album with who I'm sure you think is the greatest rapper alive too, there's something to be said for all of this shit. Absolutely. There is. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So let's take a moment to just say fuck our opinions. No doubt. Like, the shit just came I, out. I yeah. say that very often. <laughs> oh, my, I hate being the opinion, opinion guy. I don't, my because, opinion means nothing. And you know what? I hate that my opinion might sway another opinion. <laughs> 
Well then, well I think that more go, so. I think that go our be a opinions, fucking man and don't let another man sway your opinion. <laughs> no, it's not that. I think our opinions. Some people echo our same sentiments and they feel the same way we do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I got a lot of the tweets echoing. Or something yeah, again, it, you know. It's, and let me be clear, I might be jaded because I don't just say this to say this. I do believe that Watch the Throne was one of the greater rap albums of last decade. Okay, I uh-huh. believe I believe that. Mm-hmm. That album also underwhelmed me when it first came out too. So I do want to say that that there is a potential that this album will grow on me mm-hmm. because I didn't like Watch the Throne when it first came out. Watch the Throne has aged great. It has. It really has. Watch the Throne was fire from the door. Yeah, I, I love it from the door. But but I know a lot of people that felt like you, Parks. Yeah. Um, I thought it was fire from the door. But I'm saying that's like my point of reference. So with so that, for with Kanye that reference, to not be a rapper, really. All right, we're gonna say the same thing. Then. Yeah. For Kanye to not be a rapper, really. Mm-hmm. And be talked about in the same breath or even greater on that particular project. To keep up the way he did, it didn't feel like there was a drop when Ye came on. He no, was right we, there. Like no, no, they were sparring. He, yeah, yeah. he kept up. They, they, was, they were sparring. Some people say that Ye even got over. Yeah. On a couple. A couple records he definitely did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so to go from that where them two just mesh perfectly. But, but also... To this, you which shouldn't is, compare Watch the Throne to this just because it's two rappers on the same album. You shouldn't. They're, they're you gold. shouldn't have been on this album, Hove, and then I wouldn't do that. Fine, you shouldn't fair. be there. But I think they're... I wanna, this album made me want a Hove album. Oh, well, I, I always want a Hove album. Yeah, I think that's, <laughs> I've been wanted so, a Hove that's album. A popular, weird. That's a popular film. But now, and I think, you know what, Hove, man? I wonder if Hove knew he was smacking him around. <laughs> Honestly, I think, think about well, that for Jay, a second. Well, well, he feels like he can do that with anybody. He don't feel like, yeah. no, he, he guns going to be outrapped by anybody. Yeah. But I think their goal I think their goal and purpose (laughs) Fuck that Hey On my album Nigga we record Jay gotta go home to wife (laughs) What are you talking about Hey guru Run it back (laughs) I'm back Delete delete that one Yeah yeah, we back (laughs) He'll he'll hear this one on title (laughs) (laughs) We wanna prove this verse I do hope that this gets the ball rolling For uh, Jay Electronica though So do I To release more music me too. Like maybe oh, this was, was just a springboard for him to like get inspired and push it out there. Because sometimes, like you said, uh, after not releasing stuff for a long time, you get it out there, you see how people react to it, and that makes you inspired to create again. Oh, that was yeah. my other hot take. I don't think that Jay Long. I don't think that Jay Electronica. I, I don't think that Jay Electronica has very much to say in raps. That's what I left this album feeling like. So, I, but I don't know how you feel like that. Anyway, the shit that he's saying is. The what voca- did he, so what much- did he say? The vocabulary is very high. Yeah, but I can understand where Joe's uh, actual content. I what learned. I learned did he more, say? I learned more about Jay Electronica just on Exhibit C and his life and everything that he had been through yes. on that one record that I did this album. But that's kind of back to my Watch the Throne point that I was going to make. I think the goal they can't be compared because I think the goal Jay Elect and Hove had on this is much different than Watch the Throne and to the content point. Uh, maybe JLX's goal here was not to let us know who he is. It was to get the message that he's trying to get out that is at a higher intellect level than I could process on this. Well, I think that they were just having fun. Honestly, I really do. I think they went in the studio and just did it uh, kind of without thinking, not being super cerebral. It sounds like it. It feels like it. Uh, it sounds the like it sounds like Hove is they having going fun. In. Fam, I don't get missing for 10 years and then not think. I, <laughs> Fam, what are you I'm not saying it was the right, <laughs> right approach. I'm just saying that's if what you it feels get missing like. for ten years, the first thing I want to do is hear some thoughts from you. <laughs> I need to know where, where have where, you been? <laughs> what you been doing? Yo, I'm in the matrix, man. No, I'm no, I'm just telling you. No, no, no. Let me put the hate back in the oven. No, no, put the hate back in the oven. I agree with you. Let it beef up a little. I would have preferred to hear what happened in the last ten years in detail, the way the details he gave on Exhibit C, because I know he he can do that or could do that. He told I'm just us, saying I think maybe his goal on this was not He told not us that. that he follows the, 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 the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes. He did mention that, yeah. He mentioned that every bar, <laughs> every verse, so every song, which is ki- cool. No, but that's kind of getting is, to my point. Yeah, like I think his goal was that. I don't think it was for him to tell us about his personal life. I don't think he could have put three verses of that on each song. That's fair. Yeah, it's super fair. So when I add that to you've been missing for 10 years, which is cool because you've been living life, mm-hmm. but that confidence that I thought you might have been living life with is suppressed in Maul's line at the end when he says, I'm not putting shit out because I don't want to be judged. Whoa, you just painted a picture for me. 
That's that's three verses and, in and, itself. And now, and now that lens that I'm looking through paints the story of a different MC. And that MC is one that would get smacked around by Hove on every song. That's where my brain goes here. Okay. okay. I'm mad at that. Yeah. That's it. That's all I got. Uh, I'm going to try this to give this a listen on the bigs. I listened to this mm. on three different pairs of speakers to make oh, sure God. I wasn't crazy. Yeah. And that's the other thing me and Parks talked about at 8 a.m. Boy, we will trick ourselves into liking some shit. Yeah. Like, we'll oh, convince sure. ourselves that sure, I've, we'll I've, just we've we'll all, brainwash we've, ourselves. We've all done that. But um, it's so common in, in music. I think this album, because I listened to it on, on the bigs, and I listened to it on my ear pod things. I enjoyed it more with my earpods. I could see that. Much more with my earpods. This is not an album for the big, so I think you should put on some headphones and listen to this. Um, I can see that because the vocals don't cut through enough. So don't. anything with bass, the vocals are going to yeah, drown. The bass is so messy, you can't even hear it on the bass. Yeah. Got it. And I would have never did that. I know I you would. That's not how I listen to music. <laughs> I would have if I was home. I would have put it on the speakers. And mind you, I have a bowl, I have a, a bowl speaker you have in my a PA bathroom. Your house. I have <laughs> two of the big bowl speakers hooked together yeah. in my bedroom. I got yeah. the super big, big down. Yeah. Like there's you're, you're a speaker living, everywhere. Your living room is right. for a festival. So it's when not I woke for a up, <laughs> I jump. I, but I'm saying, when I woke hey, you up, you have a 300 cap fan <laughs> rocking with that system. <laughs> what I'm saying, I woke up, hopped in the shower. You should better than SOBs, bro. And plugged up to my it's bowl. Definitely better than SOBs. <laughs> Way better. Yeah, word. I jumped up, hopped in the shower, and hooked up to the tiny Bose mm. revolver, whatever you call that thing, the little mm. one. But boys, has good sound. But mm. uh. Yeah, and, I'm, and then I'm like, ah. Put on, put on yeah, some headphones. So just... I got out and I put it on the two joints hooked together. Y'all know the, the portable joints. I yeah. yeah. Mm. And it still wasn't. And then I put it on in, in the car and Escalade. And then I was like, all right. Shameless. I ain't bugging. <laughs> well, it ain't my Escalade. <laughs> what did So think of the album? <laughs> so is his driver for all the listeners out there. <laughs> I don't know what So thought of that album. <laughs> you never asked? I be playing the joints in there. So no, he just looks straight and drive. That's true. I would love you for, think that's all he does. I would love for So <laughs> So be banging that shit when you get out. <laughs> <laughs> he should jam it up there the whole time. For sure. We need to get So on the Need to Know podcast and just yeah. interview him about like what he'd be thinking. <laughs> you think Kim K let that happen? <laughs> Hershey executive producing y'all now. I you do it. <laughs> <laughs> wash your hands, you nasty man. Yo, and wash I your wish. fucking face. Wash. <laughs> Just wash. Just wash. <laughs> Go wash, nigga. Shame, nasty man. man. <laughs> I hate you. That was your response to Wyclef? Yeah. I'm so happy for Savon, but I fucking love Savon, so I want him to think higher of himself. <laughs> like, no, I yes. made mad sense. Before y'all came in, he said no no one person should have all this power, and I wanted to say to him... Oh, you got that off? That's how you talking to niggas? Well, you talking about Kim K, not him. I know. I know. I know oh, what he's talking okay. about. <laughs> I know what he's talking but about. But I wanted to say to him, like, yo, man. <laughs> but I didn't want to be the guy to step on... Your, Oh, you mall now. Yeah. No, I got, no, we're doing, I got, I got an podcast, update. We can deal with this I, with mall. I have, an, I, have an, I have an important update whenever you're ready. I'm oh, ready. We're ready oh, now. Okay, hold on. We're doing a pod. Oh, we got a pause? No, we don't got a pause. Oh, okay. I love surprises. Yeah, man. This is a good one. What Trump did? <laughs> what Trump did? <laughs> JLK. What's up, Joe, buddy? It's your boy, Jeeves. D. Hey. Jeeves, <laughs> Jeeves, 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 Yo, when my album Ask Jeeves drop, I'm going to send you a copy. From the 703, you know what I'm saying? You wouldn't you want to know that you're sass jeans? Wouldn't you want to know that you're sass jeans? Wouldn't you want to know that you're sass jeans? How are you fool? You know that's jeans. Let's go. Let's go, jeans. Sorry, uh, sorry, they call me Jeeves right. Electronica. No, fuck that. <laughs> call me Jeeves Elect Hanukkah. Jeeves Elect Ramada. I'm a lock of mama. So- <laughs> For our listeners that don't know what's going on, <laughs> Jeeves is a gentleman we met at one of our meet and greets at our show that raps, and he's become one of our favorite listeners ever. No, oh, I no, he's become my favorite rapper. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, listeners? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and then I don't want to hear a nigga just break out and start rapping Hebrew mid-verse. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm s- Rapping Hebrew? I mean... <laughs> You know, I'm kicking the, kicking the knowledge in different languages. Forget it. It, it was fine when D Forget Smoke it. was uh, <laughs> Forget it, rapping then. in Spanish on Netflix all day, but you can't get that. I didn't support that <laughs> shit after T.I. stole my job. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here. 
<laughs> you thought I was giving him an extra TV? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I gave him some medium rare hate. I ain't watched that shit. That's cool. That's medium rare. Mm. That's cool. All right. Anything else on uh, J-, J Electricity? I got nothing. If y'all think I'm waiting until 2035 for another <laughs> Jay Elect verse, I'll tell you one thing, buddy. 2035. <laughs> Fam, that's about the pace. That's, that's my man, too. It's Rizza Islam. Why is Rizza Islam in the studio? He was at the listening session. That would make sense. Yeah. Did you listen to the album? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I love Rizzo Islam, but come on, man. Get out of there. Nah, it's, it's cool, Joe. You just, it went over your head because you pray to a white Jesus that's really just a picture of Julius Caesar. It's cool, bro. It, just, it all went over your head. <laughs> I'm just a hater. True. <laughs> I'm just a hater. It's fine. It's, 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 it's totally fine. Big I came in here and said I'm going to try It's not always to funny when a nigga just admit to being a hater, though. It's just, that's just one of my favorite things to just watch. I don't know why so many people. I, de- I was about to say. I don't know why so many people has deny a hate that. In them. <clears throat> yeah. Hate is an emotion. Yeah. For sure. I don't hate people. You hate things. I hate shit. You can hate, <laughs> you can hate moments. Yeah. I hate, oh, I hate most of the moments. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't think that makes me a hater. I want everybody to do well, but I hate shit about you. <laughs> okay, you entitled to that? Like I ain't give Hove a little. This is my might be my first. I hate this in a while with some shit Hove had something to do with. You didn't like some of Jay's verses either. No, I loved all Jay's verses. He okay. smacked. He did what he had to do. <laughs> okay, true story. And now, I want you or Rory, one of you niggas, ask him if he did that on purpose. <laughs> rap to his rap, best, rap well. best ability oh, y'all, y'all are lying to me Well you know I'm not having this conversation with y'all No not rap to his best ability A rapper <laughs> yo, no yo, yo, Why you did your best You know what's funny and this is not a conversation that comes up a lot But I used to bring this up In regards to me having to go in and rhyme with uh, Fab Not Fab Fab Sport mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 2000, 2001 Fab mm-hmm. 01, 02 Fab mm-hmm. As a rapper you a rapper, you go in the studio. Another rapper is there. And I used to be like, fam, I got to go in here and lay a verse. And niggas used to look at that scenario like, it's whatever, nigga, it's fab. I was like, huh? Yeah. No, you got fab. Oh, because, fab y'all, oh, oh, because y'all don't have to go in the stool right. and think of rhymes and lay them with another MC like this in the room. You sleeping on it. Yeah. But MCs don't sleep on it. No. I think Hove is aware of that. He had to know what he was doing there. Of course. I want to know. You got to ask him. Somebody got to ask him. He knew. And he might I don't not think tell you have us. to ask him. I think, I think we know. Just listen. Yeah, I, you got to ask him. Just listen. I think any, well, He's I coming can't. in there prepared. Plenty of people go in there and don't put that now, life Now, Hove, Hove, Hove going to come and say that, you never know. He might say, yeah, I whooped him. <laughs> I can't even say that. No, Hove would say, yeah, I, I whooped his ass. I thought he might give he him something. He would say that about anybody. That wasn't what that album was. It was more so art, telling a story, preaching art shit to the people. You know what I mean? Like, he might give him some of that, because then it ain't about whooping. Or is it? Then it becomes a double entendre. No. Ah, <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I see what you did. Jay Elect, man, I love you. But you got your ass kicked. Well, I'm glad that the project is, is here. You still got glad your ass kicked. And, and I but. want you to get a few more listens. I'm listening uh, I do. on Cause, my, cause on my I, headphones I think... since you say that. That ain't really what I do on the headphones. <laughs> Like, I've just put the headphones on so I could hear the moans a little louder. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. So, so the neighbors can't hear shit? Nah, I just want to hear it in, like, surround sound. <laughs> say that shit again. I feel like she's there. Say, say that shit again. Tell me you love me. <laughs> I do Look it. at what you put the headphones on. For. <laughs> and I was making repeat repeat Say it again. <laughs> uh, and I love Jay Jay Le- uh, Congratulations. Congratulations, man. Absolutely. I'll say that. Yeah. Shout out to you. Uh, Shout out to Hove. How does he tour this? Shout out to... Well, nobody's touring, Rory. We're, I, we're going to think... get to that later. Well, yeah. That's a good point, actually. No, uh, nobody's touring. Theoretically? Well, yeah, without the virus. <laughs> you would just do uh, the verses. Right. You would just do the verses. He has enough between the uh, Eternal the Sunshine, stuff, yeah, yeah. And the Lucy's, and the uh, features, and that features on this. That's how you know it ain't really so much heat on here, because he would still have to end that show with Exhibit C. You'd have this him he by could, himself would be no four matter what minutes. he would have to do exhibit C last. Yeah. Should that be the case though? If you when you put out a new album, that's not. Come on, that every artist ever has probably well, exhibit C is different. 
I'm, I'm taking that back because Exhibit C is different. Like I think I think Mob Deep put out amazing albums after the Infamous. I'm sure they ended the show with Shook Ones. Like that's not fair. Should have. Eh, quiet Quiet Storm could also, but they had a Quiet Storm. Yeah, could. I guess that's what I'm saying. He should have another option. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. You're okay. right, Roy. You're right. Yeah. But he should have an option. Exhibit C is different, man. Yeah. Hopefully, on the next. That's a moment uh, in time. The next one, he. Even though I do like his production, I would like to hear some other production. Oh, yeah. For Yo, sure. so, man, let me go ahead and say it. We called Just on this podcast. Yeah. And I want to get off this album because we're we 60 call, minutes in. Should we call Guru and berate him? <laughs> <laughs> we, berate called, him. we called Just. <laughs> Just didn't have anything to say to us. He didn't give us any intel. And now we hear the album. There's no sign of Just Blaze, right? No. No, not on his project. Which is, which is your <laughs> no most, most known collaborator, right? Yeah. Yeah. I and Just Blaze wasn't nowhere near 444 either, right? No. no. That was all no idea. Yeah, like completely no idea. And Just no Blaze wasn't was. nowhere near that whole Beyonce album either, right? No, that was Cool Cool no. and Dre did a majority of that. Yeah. Neptune's did a What couple. album came before that? Well, they've addressed, they, both of them have addressed Magna this. Magna Carta. Just and Hope have both said, we always get in, but we know what our legacy is. And if it ain't better than that, we just leave it alone. Which is totally acceptable from those two iconic men. Yeah. But this is a Jay Leck album. That is fair. True. And but we were naming Hope Projects. That's why I said that. I know, but the Jay Leck album is what has me going back. <laughs> I agree. I would have loved Just on this. Yeah. I would have loved I, to, I would have liked Just to do the thing. whole thing. Yeah. That would have been fun to listen to. Or if like he did a whole Slaughterhouse album. <laughs> Just should have did a song with Jay Electronica. Yeah. Or six. He probably has, though. Like we said, should I have think it. this is just the first installment of a series. So. All right, listen, man. Y'all ready for this Kaylani breakdown or what? <laughs> let's do it. Hey, hey, let's hey, get double blocked. Is she ready? Hey, <laughs> hey. Waiting to get double blocked. All right, you guys. We're back. Don't know if you've heard, but enemy to the show, <laughs> Kaylani. We don't have any enemies. We don't like we love. We everybody. love Kaylani. Kaylani's just, she that's, that's the bullshit. We do. We do really love everybody. Kaylani especially. Shout out to our Spotify listenership. <laughs> Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Shout out to our first and last time listeners. Shout out to all the people that hate us that we love. Uh, Shout out to the dry snitchers out there. We know y'all out there. You nasty. <laughs> <laughs> um, got any shout outs? No. It's like halftime. Oh, it's a good time to shout out to healthcare workers, even though we've done it a million times. Doctors yes. and nurses, man. Yeah. Man, researchers in Canada. Hey, they said hey, they, they said can, uh, hockey got canceled and y'all found the cure. <laughs> <laughs> they they oh, wasn't going no, for no, that. No, we won't have oh, this. Oh, no. No way. <laughs> Why I oughta. <laughs> we'll fix this. I, I got an email from the NHL, and I've never watched an NHL game ever nah, in my entire life. let you know the vibes. Yeah. yeah. In that case was, you uh, thought about watching yeah. like, We'll be back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You should. I do recommend that each of you attend a hockey game before you die. I've, I've been to uh, I've been to hockey games, not yeah. NHL, but like a farm league. Yeah. I've been to a couple NHL. Okay. Ones. They're really. Fun. Uh, it was great. It was phenomenal. Actually, hockey games are great. Drinking and fighting, screaming. Yeah, I want to go. It's lit. I want to go. <laughs> no, they're really good. Um, Kalani put out a record called Toxic. Yeah. Um, I love it. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you love something Kalani does? <laughs> Uh, I would love to play a little bit for you and, and give you my POV. <laughs> Your POV? But that's what, uh, that's what got us in trouble the last time. <laughs> that's and, what got us blocked. And I don't think we pieced it up yet, so I mean. We did piece it up. Nah, I don't think she did. I think no, she, I don't, I think, I don't think any us. piece came of I that. I mean, we're still blocked, but we pieced it up. We let her know that it's all love. Don't it have to be a mutual piece? No. No, once you say <laughs> your side and you're at peace with it, you're yeah, good. Yeah, that's it. Sometimes you just leave it at that. Joe, um, we're, we're at peace with it. That's when girls text you back, K. Yeah, yeah. She definitely texts us back, Kay. Or the artwork, which is, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm glad that this is the artwork, because when women say that, they don't be fine. Ever. No. Quite the opposite. And they don't be okay when you get K. Oh, not at all. And if, I'm, leave I'm, it, I'm if you fine. leave it at, I'm fine, and don't say nothing after that, it's a problem with that, too. Yeah. yeah. I'm fine is like, have fun. When they you don't want You don't want any fun to happen. <laughs> yeah. and you don't want any fine to happen. I'll be honest with you, ladies. I'm going to share a secret with you guys. When y'all hit back K, I feel even more empowered dubbing you. Yeah. No, it's like a relief. Thank God. I'll be honest. When I dubbed the K, 
I feel like fucking King Leonidas out this bitch. Nah. <laughs> give uh give the little thumbs up to the K one time. See how you feel. No, like it. Put the heart in it. No, because I did that. I, I did that before. You got to double tap and the, the, and, and, then and, the the fucking, the and then the queen thumbed up that, and then I thumbed up that, <laughs> <laughs> and then we were sitting there just thumbing up. It was like, all right, you know what? Fuck this. Because <laughs> so the thumbs stupid. up, and sometimes I've sent, the, I've hit the thumbs up, and I'm like, oh, that looks salty. <laughs> it does. Thumb never looks great. The thumb up might not look the greatest, it's depending so, on when it comes. So, Depends on yeah. who you're thumbing up. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And I don't want to feel salty, so I don't hit the thumb. No. Maybe the explanation points. I'll hit the heart. Empowering. Nah, it's, it really goes to another level when you text her some like sentimental shit. Like, yo, I miss you. Like, you know what I mean? And she thumbs up that. It's like, oh, it's <laughs> like, oh, you want me to come to the crib? Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> the, that's the friend place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Word. yeah. I miss you. Thumbs up. Nah. Thumbs up. I mean, I'm not like, the fuck you nah. trying to get a ride somewhere? Fuck you. Just thumbs up for it. <laughs> no, I don't play them games. <laughs> yeah, don't play them I miss you. Thumbs up. Seen a fucking movie review? <laughs> Did we stumbled upon a great conversation? Nobody ever talks about these text replies, responses, like the signs. Oh, you gotta no. read it. It's you gotta speak. I'm so petty. Listen, I'll scroll all the way up to my text from like two weeks ago and question mark it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you no. can't do that. Yeah, yes, the I can. Is, nah, the man uh, yes, can't I can. do that. No, no, you yes, can't get that off the no, man. No, 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 no. Like if she never responds, <laughs> she'll take her hour to find the thumbs up. No, I don't care. No, man can't don't, do that. I, I don't care, Mo. No, we can't do that. You gotta come on, man. Yeah, I'm hitting my drop we, right nah, now. We gotta drag our nuts a little bit. We gotta drag our nuts a little bit, man. We can't do that. Nah. You can't scroll up to something you said and question it like, oh, so you ain't going. You yes, you can. Nah, man. Just ask again. And no way. way. See, that's crazy. That's much. Wow. That's you ever crazy. do that instead of double texting? Like you'll text and there'll be no response. So that is the double text. Yeah, that's, that's my the new double, double text. text. Yeah, that's, that's my new, double no, text. There's a little bit more pride to that one than the double text. Nah, there's like no maybe she pride. needs another notification. Maybe she didn't see it. <laughs> but you know what? That's nasty because you don't even get like, like women a don't see every text that, that they have. Really, it just you just got to go to the text yeah, and you see it. Like, it. Oh yeah. shit! And you know what's funny? You know what I realized after the last podcast? I do double text. Because I'll send the text. I've copped to double text. I'll, the I'll, I'll send the text. You'll ignore it. I'll go on about my day because, you know, you got to let right. people rock out. So right. you, you booked and then busy? when I remember <laughs> that you didn't hit me back, I'm hitting you to say, forget you then. <laughs> <laughs> That's your double text? Yes. If, forget you. if you would have forgot her, you wouldn't have double texted. She did. <laughs> forget you then is equivalent to when the she not forgot you? you up in, in basketball. You take your it's your ball. Uh, and you take your sure. ball and go home. Yeah. Like nigga, give us the ball. Oddly enough, and don't take my sauce. No, I'm not. Don't take my <laughs> sauce. I already Trust know. We're not I already know, know this is some crazy niggas, shit. Niggas, no, no, no. No, but listen, more. Oddly enough, my forget you then has a ninety eight percent. Effective rate of <laughs> continuing. Oh, you get a response. This. You get a response immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. immediately. Oh, I was playing for the kids sleep. Oh, my mom dying. <laughs> Had to feed her. This would be some shit, but they come back like, ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yo, replying to forget you then with nah, my mom was dying. <laughs> well, Yo, for, look at Savon sick. writing down my sauce. <laughs> He's writing down my sauce over there. Forget you or F O. Yeah, how you spell, how you spell that? <laughs> now, do you do, do you do N A H or do you do N O? Mo, what you go to? You, you hit that? You hit the exclamation points on them? Nah. <laughs> for emphasis, I will ask again. That's why I don't I don't I don't go to the, the what I asked and they they don't respond to I don't go back to it and like question mark it. You ever say yo my phone's been bugging? Did you get my last text? <laughs> you could get that off like ten years ago. You can't get that off now. My yo, phone's nah, been bugging. Yeah. My phone. Yeah, your, phone's, no, your phone's not bugging. I'm I'll say that if she asked me about it, like yo, so you're not gonna respond? I'm like yo, my phone. But like when you sent that. Oh yeah, that still works. Yeah, like I didn't get that. When you you can't that. lead with the my phone's been <laughs> no, bugging. Yeah, it's bad. No. I have like the I have like the success. Though. Rory been in a relationship for nine years. He got to update. Yeah, I, I don't know the rules yeah. out there. <laughs> He's still trying to get off. My phone's been bugging. <laughs> I definitely take pictures. I, still use that. I definitely take pictures whenever whenever I'm in traffic and save them. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's my. Don't steal my. I've I, been doing nah, that. Nah, nah, do nah, that. No, we're not don't doing do that. that. We're not doing don't that. Don't do that. Don't steal my. I've been because that's hey, my. I shit. got every bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I got every tunnel. I got the Verrazano. <laughs> nigga, play with play oh, with Joe. Yeah. Yo, just, yo, just in case it's in Staten Island. Yeah, Listen, I got yo. daytime, nighttime. It's crazy out here. <laughs> yo, 
<laughs> Can you believe I'm stuck <laughs> right here right I, now? I, I, I have just a turn around I'm and go home. Though. Write it down, Savon. Go ahead. <laughs> Tell Kim K that shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Kim I'm offended. Y'all trying to get yo, that Me and Parks in relationships. Yo, that's the shit we live on. Moves, man. <laughs> Mo been watching my moves because we live together. Man, that's my that's move. What it is. Man, that's my bag right there. Parks just got a car. Shut up. <laughs> oh, nah. I'll take walking pictures. <laughs> Traffic's crazy. I got studios. <laughs> I'm on my way to yeah. studio. I got quad from 2012. <laughs> it don't even look like that yeah. out front no more. <laughs> hey, yo, I'm about to go into the stool. I hit you back. <laughs> this shit oh, got a, shit. a album title from 2009. <laughs> it got a big punch stick on the window. Like, yo, fam, what year was oh, you at quad, shit. man? Yo, y'all are oh, pocket God. shot right there. That's some funny shit. How did we get to this? Because cause of Kehlani. I We should delete that because I don't, I don't know chicks know about that sauce. Well, they know Yo, now. Yo, chicks are so behind on what we know. <laughs> nah, they not, though. They doing the same shit, but in a different way. Women in, a know be, in a better way. Women yeah. know when we full of shit, but if they like you enough, they'll let you get it off. Yeah. Like, I've learned that. They think it's cute. Yeah, they be like, oh, all right. He, at least he cares enough <laughs> Yo, to try to Yo, when chicks like you, they like, think the weirdest things are cute. Yeah. Only if they like you. <laughs> like the weirdest shit. Only, because you'd be like, sometimes like, that work? No, like, you're bad. Like toxic things, which is a great... Segue into toxic. Kay- Kaylani thinking toxic is cute because she liked him. Toxic. No, it was the Don Julio. I mean, is no, that what she blamed it no, on? No, you like toxic niggas. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my that's just be my point out about Kaylani because I want to get unblocked someday. Yeah. But women but just have to <laughs> someday. <laughs> some, yeah, someday. I want J- Janae, Kalani, all the songstresses that have me blocked. Like I love y'all still. Mm-hmm. Still, it don't matter. Jay, y'all can, y'all can uh, hate me. I'm gonna fuck. Jay Lek <laughs> is probably gonna block us after this. I sure. love Jay Lek. Too late. Nah, Jay can't. He can't block us. He that. followed the three of us. I know. He can't block us for that. Just being um, honest, it's all, it, music is a matter of opinion. It's it's like food. Yeah. You know. <laughs> just wasn't music is like it food. Wasn't Everyone has a different taste. Yeah, it wasn't for me. A different taste. <laughs> Listen, this is Kaylani's record, Toxic. I'm assuming she has an album coming because yes. songs have been dropping. K2, I believe, is the name. I would hate to hear what this album sounded like before the Her and YG breakup. Cause it sounds like it has a direction now, a that clear sounds one. Sounds fire now. Yo, yeah. <laughs> Back to my theory about the songstresses needing to be heard or yeah. fucked up to start delivering that piff, that that fire. I don't think I heard one song like this or her last song on her last project. No, we. I, she I wasn't said, kicking niggas' backs in. I had said uh, she loved us. I'd said when when you were making fun of me for liking that album, I was like, give that girl some time to like. Live. She's mad young. She's super talented. Once she has some content and some life experience, she's going to be fire. Yeah, you did say that. And, I, I and, remember that. <clears throat> and this is the life yeah, experience she could I was get talking hurt, about. If she can get hurt a few more times and do this, <laughs> I know that's toxic to say. Hey! Hey! See, I'm waiting to meet Scream the girl. Man just exhaled. I'm waiting. You want, you want to t- tell us something, Scream Man? <laughs> she ain't, yo, Scream Man, Shane put the pussy away for you? Scream she Man, that, that was like, away, huh? She gave, <laughs> she gave it away. <laughs> she gave that thing away. Hey, 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 hey Scream Man, let, let me be the first to tell you, they always give it away. <laughs> yeah, Matter of fact, hey. when you thinking, they holding it for you? Oh, They're my not. God. Oh, please. Uh, oh, please. They never holding it. No. Nah. That pussy Ben gave away. Oh, <laughs> that shit's spreading like the Roni. <laughs> put, this, put the pussy away for you. Yeah, all right. I ain't rolling. I mean, play this right after. Play this right after. Zone. Scream, man, you got something that you wanted to put it away for you? Everything good now. Everything good Everything now. Good. Now, two minutes ago, it wasn't good. Yeah, two minutes ago, it wasn't good. Everything good now. And you and you know, you know today, he was like, she probably just saw Kim K retweeted my shit. She probably mad she gave that away now. Yeah. You sent it to her? You screenshot it, sent it to her? He's screaming. Of Mo, course he did. Mo, you got somebody you think is putting it away for you? No. Nobody's putting it away for you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do I don't, you, I don't you, even try to lie to myself. But do you have somebody no. that you want to put it away? That I would want to put it away? Yeah. Oh, but I don't think love. she is. So what is stopping you... <laughs> no, that's not love. So, I would like every chick I'd ever been with to not do that. <laughs> yeah, like when I leave, don't fuck somebody else tomorrow. <laughs> like like any, yeah. any chick. Yeah, like no. So so I'll ask you, so what is stopping you 
from, and this was the stupid shit that the therapist was saying to me the other day. Okay. What is stopping you from texting that person and saying, put it away? No. <laughs> because, all right, my thing is, is this. That e- is that ego and pride? No, 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 no. Yeah. My, my, my thing is this. I yeah, feel, right? It's a bit of it, yeah. No, I don't. It's not an ego. For me, I don't know when other men are talking to women how they do. But no, for me, it's not an ego. They're, yeah, they're it's, suckers, not like you. No, it's just that I, I feel like if I have to tell a woman, yo, don't do that, it's like that should be, you should feel like you don't want to do that. I shouldn't t- have to tell you that. Yeah, we're looking for the chick that's, that's ego too, putting though. it away on their own. Yeah, like, like not if, for me. Let me know, like, if you yeah. feel like that, like, yo, listen, I, you're the only one I want to have. <laughs> I think, this well, with. I think like, everyone should operate that way. Like, but they, but we know they like don't. Every person, what you think period. they should, yeah. but they don't. You know, myself I mean? but, included. Yeah, but you got to be careful though, because I was having a conversation with my own with, uh, about this type of shit, and I think the re- one of the reasons why I'd, I'm still not in a relationship is because. I think relationships in some way they they hinder you if you're not with the the right person because like well Twitter would tell you uh, you guys should boss up together that's hard though I agree with that by the way that's hard though that's I, easier I do said agree than with that. done that's the part that that's the part that point of a relationship I, that's the part that I didn't and yeah more the point of a relationship is to do it with somebody that you feel like that you're that growing about. growing Absolutely. with not just financially growing Absolutely. as people I agree. together but I that's agree. the part of my rant that was missing last week and I was mad that I didn't that I didn't say it like the dichotomy there between man and woman or at least in my opinion is when you complete each other and the woman kind of makes the man whole Absolutely. the right one Absolutely yeah and when the right one comes and makes the man whole, it pushes the man to heights that yeah. he, he didn't would even have know. Nev- yeah. He didn't even know about. Absolutely. Am I, I living person? in a myth because I'm looking for that? No. <laughs> no, this is, I think they're looking is, in the this, wrong that's places. What I've, that's what I've been trying to find. And- but be careful because today, and today with so many different ways for women to just be on their own nuts. Mm-hmm. And do their own thing independent of a man at all. Like, there's so many women out there now, like, yeah, fuck niggas. And they think shit, that dude mm-hmm. splouts you. Like, mm-hmm. the pool is small. Right. Like, maybe now, now, maybe today in modern times, women or more women are not looking to support a man to greatness because they've been let down by so many. Right. Or when, when, when they help. They help certain men reach that greatness. The men they get shit on. left them. Yeah, they get and, shit on. And the next, so I understand the next that part. Chick kind of benefits from that's right. like a high expectation to put on a woman without even like trying to get there. You know what I'm saying? Like you expect that pretty quickly. I would assume. No, expect like what pretty quickly? Of finding the woman that is going to complete your soul. <laughs> no, it's or a pro- no, it's, it's a process. It's a process. And in the now in this era, like IG, I always say IG is instant gratification. People want things right now. Of course. They want they don't want to wait, they don't want to put the time in, they don't want to go through the process. They want gratification instantly. Right. And that's just not realistic. Like I still don't know you. Like I think it's important to to when you meet somebody that you want to be with, you should learn about their family history, their family mental health history. Okay. Like yeah. what type where, like where do you come from? Like you know what I'm saying? Like what is your family like? Right. Uh, my homeboy, he told me the other day, he didn't meet his girl's uh his girl's father until they was at the baby shower and I thought that was the craziest shit in the world I mean like wait you just met him today I do think that that should be a bigger part of courting like I want to hang out with your family learning the family learning the bloodline I want to kick it with your father your mom when when, when we go when we go to the doctor and the doctor say hey does your family have a history of this do you have a history of this do you have a history of this they're asking because it's important we want to know and that your blood tells us something about you so why is it so taboo for those topics to come up in courting or dating or even a relationship? Well, that was kind of my point last episode when I was saying everything about dating now is not about getting to know each other. Mm. It's about these mythical how y'all rules. Together. No, it's all about how y'all look together. Have been created it's all about the out, outside, so how y'all look together. Of, outside of what the actual purpose is. It's all how y'all look together. Like I always laugh when uh, women love, you know, they repost a picture, say just hypothetically, it'd be Beyonce and Jay holding hands, walking through an airport. They'd be like goals. I'm like, so a guy's never held your hand before, like walking through an airport or something, like, yeah. or and, or do you want to be? How do you know it's great over there? Yeah, like, or do you want to be? Say, sometimes I see the picture of somebody I know, and I'm be like, fam, that person is depressed and right. going through trauma. a lot, a lot. <laughs> yeah, that person is covering but up all things. You see, all, all that matters is what the p- perception is, the public perception. 
Yeah. And then when I say say th- things to women like, yo, I really want to get to know you as a person, they don't understand that. They think like, oh, you're hiding me. Oh, you must have a, a wife on a, a family. I'm like, you think that I would hide kids in the family? Yes. Like, what oh, the fuck? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, niggas do it. Niggas do it. Niggas I could never do that. Like, no. no. Stupid. But quickly back to Park's point of asking that expectation of someone. I think there's a lower level that you could do it as just yourself being successful within yourself. Like, if you got a group of friends that's really dope, <clears throat> like, mm-hmm. it's not a competition at all, but you don't want to be the bum friend that has nothing to bring to the group chat right. as right. far as successful shit. Mm-hmm. So I think with partners, men and women, or however you get down, yeah, if you come successful, that's going to, I can't be the bum in the relationship. Like, right. I got to come with some shit. But then so lot- I don't know if it's an expectation more of if you do it within yourself, that can motivate the person you're with. Yeah, but a lot of the times for me, the struggle is when you when I meet a good woman, I'm scared like, yo, if we take it further than this and then that doesn't work out, I don't want to lose this. Like, I don't want to lose this friendship. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can meet a great woman like, oh, my God, we compatible, we homies, we hang out, we, you know, we think alike, we like the same things. Uh-huh. Then it's like, all right, we try this relationship thing and it don't work. I don't want to lose this, though. Like, I don't yeah, want to not be able to that's call kind of, you. That's, that's and the risk that, theory that's why I judge with you. everything. That right there is why I judge you. Why that, you judging that, what? That, that right there is why I judge you. You, you stay by the, the check-in table. No, no, not saying I, not saying I don't try it. No, I'm just saying I, but, that's, it's always a that, thought. Like, damn. It I, should be a thought because that's typically <clears throat> what ends up happening. Mm-hmm. You lose the friendship. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the fucked up part. It's bullshit. Yeah, that's the it's fucked horrible. up part. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you got to I don't think there's a way to defend against it. Yeah, it's tough. No, because I mean, because no. because logically, you can think, all right, we didn't work out as a couple, but there's obviously something here that connected us, so maybe we could be friends. But once you log- cross the oh, threshold, no, 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 I'm saying logically that would sound good, but logic and feelings do not mesh well. Not at all. So it's not going to work. Well, no, because we have no. feelings. <laughs> logic, we be trying to think with logic. So yes, you're right, Rory. We be somewhere saying that. I've heard from multiple women. I've heard multiple women echo the sentiment of, nah, you can't get the friendship from me now. Like, you hurt you hurt me. That's why. We went through that. You're not going, no, you can't get the satisfaction of mm. getting the great friend that I am after mm. you do. I want you in this way. Right. And if I can't have you in this way, then it's nigga, nothing. fuck out of here. No. Yeah. I, I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, even, that, I can't even be around you. Mm-hmm. How can we be friends? I... I need nine months, eleven months to not even think or talk to you to rid so you maybe, of my yeah. soul. <laughs> so maybe I can get back in the friend bag. And what happens is, as men, we're logical. We say, hear that and say, all right, cool. And then you give them that time, mm-hmm. and then you never talk to them again. Right? right. Yeah, it's, it's bullshit. Whack. Yeah, it's, it trash. it's whack. It's whack. Thanks, Kalani. Yeah, thanks, Kalani. <laughs> <laughs> for inspiring Yo, such a back. deep dive. Yeah, no, for real. I'm blocking you yeah, now. Yeah. Now I'm angry. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Um, what else happened? Wait a minute. But I love that song. And Me too. I do want to hear more talented. from Kalani, Kalani if she's Kalani doing talented. that. No, I, do. I, th- I think she's going to have a, a real good career. Um, My girl snuck one out. My girl snuck one out. Alina Barrez snuck one <laughs> out. Featuring Black. That's a combo I enjoy. She's dope. This is hard if you haven't heard it. Alina Barrez, she's coming. Uh, what was the date? I don't remember uh, the date, but it's I coming. To. Click Devon right there. And all of y'all that like girls, like we like girls. May 5th, yeah, for my birthday. Yeah, May 5th. You're going to want that. Oh, that's my first baby mom's birthday. Well, I'm the fourth, but for my birthday, she'll put an album out the next day. Yeah, stop trying to get me to remember your birthday, man. I'm, I'm talking about her. <laughs> I, I could care less about no. you and my birthday. Um, did you hear this record, Rory? What's uh, up no. your alley? No, oh, what were you doing? Just listen to Jay Elect. Trying to do the science. You should have cut this on. <laughs> <laughs> Mid science? I can't do that. Mid science. <laughs> yeah, this is chemistry right here. But you know I love her, so she's talented. Kiana Lede featuring Lucky Day. That dropped. Love her too. You heard this, Rory? I did hear this, yes. Oh. Uh, yeah, oh, no, so you cut Jay like all for a second, huh? That's, that's that's the fam. Don't act like it was tough to cut Jay like off. <laughs> it was tough. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I 
Uh, are you happy with this after your comments to her at your pool party? My comments to who? To her. Kiana. Kiana Lady? Yeah. I spoke to her at my pool party? Yes. Kiana like, Lady was at my pool party? We, all right, never mind. <laughs> we had a long talk, <laughs> four or five of us. Oh! <laughs> and, and, and you led you led with yo, why you making that pop shit? <laughs> oh I love this girl. Yeah, nah, she's super funny, super cool. Yeah, nah, she's she's I forgot we was kicking it, kicking it. <laughs> yeah. Royce, that's trying to put me back at the top of the industry list. Fuck out of here. <laughs> well, I invited her. Savon so I'll, is I'll take there. the L on that. Save, well, that's how it goes. Savon, Parks, Rory. No, 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 no. 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 The, one Maul, I, the one I put out Joe. today is the accurate. It can't be debated. It's it's concrete what I put out today. But to answer your question, fuck your list. I saw your list. Um, to answer your question, <laughs> yes, I am. I'm really happy with this. Yeah, I thought you would. I when, am, I, when I heard it, I was like, all right, this is I, I'm, my shit too. I'm really happy with this. This isn't. This doesn't sound like what she was doing back then. The last or project, the yeah. Pop attempt. And listen, songstresses. I don't hold it against y'all. I just finished talking to a label that shall shall remain anonymous. Number one. About. Uh huh. How is that number one? <laughs> How is it not? You were talking to the industry. Yo, you know that what, you can't talk about. I I was signed to a label at. 2021. Some of these people solidifying the number one status. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, you're not helping your case right now. <laughs> See, but that's where we go wrong because I don't think that that should count to our rankings. Of but y'all always count it. It, it so I'll always be number one then I got a record deal at that's, 21. That's what we said. But that's mm -hmm. corny because I'm mad anti industry. I judge it by how many executives you know. I know all executives. Exactly. But that's a, not a fair assessment. Why not? Because the list is the list. The industry. The list is industry. That's the industry. The execs. Rory, is yes. that your list? How many yeah, execs? This is the, up, this is the how, updated list. How many, you can't have me before you. <laughs> how, many, how many execs does Maul know? Uh, two. <laughs> Personally, two. they're your brothers, though. <laughs> two, right there. It's I don't know. You know more than that. Don't don't you do, do that. You know more than you do know more than that. Okay, Kaiser, three. You know Joe. You know more than that. Shari, four. <laughs> Wait, this could keep going, Maul. Come on. That's it. You and I am an exec. You know me. That counts. That's Shari four. Joe's five. <laughs> okay, five. You know Kevin Lyles. No, I don't. I've met him, but I don't know. <laughs> I've met no, him. That's I true. I yeah. met him. I don't know him though. Like if he sees me, he's gonna be like, "Yo, there's a good? difference it's between that. Sylvia? meeting and knowing." I met her. Don't know like that. I know, but you met Sylvia. So, met her. Yeah. I don't know like that though. She wouldn't like give me a hug if I saw her. <laughs> Beyonce that, though. Beyonce's uh, an exec. Beyonce hugs you. Yeah. Hug. And, and clubs with you. Not, not with me, I, I, with her. Trust me, it's the other way around. Y'all club, no, club together? Be Beyonce does club with you. Beyonce no. came to Dykeman with you. No, I was with her. That's a fact. <laughs> it's the other way around. She, I've never seen her there without you. That's fair. I've never seen Beyonce. We're not, not doing that. Yo, not, niggas don't want to talk not. for real. First of all, she I was, came to party first like all, it's Wednesday. First of, all, she, <laughs> first of all, she was with her husband. That, I've never seen her husband there you, without you. And I was with her husband. You might have made it safe for them. No. All right. That you took. I've never Zachman. seen them no, there no, no, without fact. you. Okay. Cool. And in the pictures that are circulating via the the web. <laughs> yeah. The web. The, web. <laughs> the world wide web. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I saw pictures yeah. via the, the web mm -hmm. where you were close to them, close in proximity. Okay. You're high on the list. Okay. Me knowing execs means nothing. Okay. See, but whatever. <laughs> just right. to, just so, a goal post. Yeah. So, <laughs> Swaying. No, so Joe, that's not Savon, how I define Parks, my list. Small Rory. I define my list by excitement. Like we know, like we're gonna talk for real because it's sad. Like Rory be really excited about this industry shit. Like he be, he likes it. Like what? Like, like what? Like he likes the shit. Marketing. He likes all of it. Like he gets excited for the parties. He gets excited for the marketing. What, he gets excited what for the releases. And Wait, parties. because I get excited for music, I'm, that makes me industry. <laughs> I didn't say you just, just as excited for music as I am. I didn't say music. You and I are the only people that talk about it. But I never said music. He said the parties. What parties do I go to? The ones you go to, there's I throw excitement. The no, not those. That's a bar. <laughs> not those. I throw the parties. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Idiots, <laughs> like, what you talking That's about? That's a bar. I throw the parties. <laughs> Yo, Roy, give I yourself a gunshot. Yeah, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. That's my guy, man. I don't know what industry party I have been in the last no. six years. No, 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 I ain't gonna lie. The proposal at the Rock Nation brunch. <laughs> wasn't at the brunch. Y'all let y'all let Charlemagne tell a uh, a false story that I didn't care to correct because I, I didn't. I it was I snuck a Rory moment. into the Hove concert that I broke up in. Yeah, that was fun. 
Wait, you, that wasn't at the brunch? No. Wait, what were you proposed about? to Sam? That was the brunch. But it was away from it. It wasn't there. No, just because you were in the parking lot doesn't mean it was. The parking lot. <laughs> he, was on the, he was on the other side of the lawn. <laughs> right. No, it's still there. Listen, Park says he judges, judges it by execs. I judge it by excitement. Like, like Savon is really excited about this Kim K thing, and he should be because he's a young pup wet behind his fucking ears and don't know no better. Pup. <laughs> Don't but I'm him. happy for Don't him. Don't let him call you no, a that pup. doesn't make him industry. I said I'm happy for him. Yeah, that doesn't make him industry, though. A pup. No, see, and that's where our definitions are different, too, though. Because industry, I don't... When I say industry, we're all in the industry, so we're joking with of each course. other. Of course, obviously. We, we are all in the same industry. Obviously. So that's why I go by excitement, because we all here. Fam. <laughs> Do a podcast. <laughs> what, you, what the hell? <laughs> he honking at us. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you beat. <laughs> we're in a spot. We're, we're all in the industry. So that's a given. So when I say excitement, it's, fam, we all here already. So when you niggas be excited about certain shit, I'm like, ah, oh, you like it here. <laughs> you like it here. Well, so if you wait, so by being that, excited by releases makes you industry? I don't go anywhere. No. I don't go anywhere. You, th- you like it here more than me. No, I don't even go anywhere, Joe. I've turned down going to events. Fam, you just went to, you flew to Summer's, Summer Walker's concert. That's going somewhere. You flew to Ruggs' white party. No, I didn't see that. Now you just throw shit out. Now you just throw shit out. Now you just throw shit out. You just throw I shit saw out you there. walking Julius Randle through a tunnel. I was at the game. That's not the game. I was that's leaving the, the tunnel. Game. But I was you got to walk to the that's game. That's the exit. That's, I was that's a different game. exit, fam. I, I was leaving the that's game. That's a different exit. You just calling Julius that's today. That's a different exit. Oh, no, 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 no. He ain't got no job no more. He ain't got no job, man. I'm calling him today. Yeah, Joe, man. You, Joe, 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 you, you just dancing. That's all you're doing. I don't want to dance with you, but you're dancing. Whatever, fine. Uh, where are we at? Uh, music. I'm sorry, Barks. That's all good, buddy. Uh, that was all. Oh, yo, Don shit is hard. Yeah, Don Tolliver. Don yeah. shit is hard, man. I fuck, uh, I fuck with Don. Great project. Heaven and Hell. Yeah, check that out. It's 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 great. Yeah. It's great. Great smoke music. It was a good contrast from how I was feeling leaving J Election. I'll say that. Okay. And then I, and then and then I'll just get into a deep dive on myself. Then I felt insecure. I'll be honest with you. About what? Well, tell us more. Because Joe Budden is not supposed to like the Don Tolliver or enjoy the Don Tolliver album. In a way that more more than the JLX album for me. Why? Because uh, yeah. I shouldn't. Yeah. As a rapper. Yeah. I understand. What but mean. I did. But you as and a, I felt but bad. you as a rapper and your musical tastes are night and day, which is really weird. That's true. That is true. Like That's true. how you rap is well, not Joe, what Joe you really, like. Joe really wants to sing. I, I don't. Oh yeah, I, for I sure. Think, I think Joe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's, 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 why why okay. that? that's why he did <laughs> That's why throw, he did That's why he did Don't do that shit. nigga You wanna sing too I We all to, wanna sing I used to sing Me too <laughs> Okay <laughs> but, then you, you, but then you figured out Rapping was your You know what I mean <laughs> I fucked my singing voice up oh, oh, okay. What's your excuse You ain't never smoked nothing Why you stop oh, no, uh, Why you quit he lost, I, I he lost love, the love I didn't love, love the, for the game I, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't love being on stage <laughs> Blue face album Blue face album In your phone right now <sighs> I'm all set In your phone right now If you must search Must missed that one I heard The album was literally called I Can't Find the Beat I'm cool Well that's appropriate <laughs> We knew that Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, Why, I, why I, he tell I like us? that Nigga we were telling you <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, heard, I heard he uh, threw a shot at you Or maybe some wordplay Oh it, yeah it, it, Now which one is it Because the two can get confusing Or they could be one and the same That's true So which one is it I don't know <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be honest I have no idea What did he say He said uh, I keep I keep it on me In case Joe Try to butt in mm. Something like that mm, I get what he did there And I be budding in True yeah. so, And your name is Budden Yeah I see. Oh Come on man shit. Come on I know Paul Wait wait My wait bad, wait parts. Run that back Run yeah, that yeah, back yeah, just hit Paul Nah I would've, I would've told you I would've told you off mic My bad I didn't. Rewind it for him I ain't peep it like that <laughs> Hey, you pull up the blue face lyrics, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Computer got a virus. Hey, congratulations to Blueface, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Congratulations Absolutely. to everybody. And that's why I don't want to come on here and just give opinions all the time. Because I get it, man. I'm happy for all of y'all. Whether y'all shit is trash or not, you're doing what you got to do. You're getting a buck. You're feeding your family. You're staying out the way. You're minding your business. Like, long as nobody is shooting nobody, Joe is all right. Big facts. All right. Uh, the kids seem to like the Jack Harlow project. That's the white kid, right? Yeah. I'm not hip. Oh, that's why he's going around rapping everywhere? Mm, yeah, he put out a project today. Is uh, he good? Need more than that. Yeah, he, he can rap. What type of rap? Uh, 
Can he write like, a song? <laughs> well, I didn't listen to the album yet, so I don't know. But he he raps. He raps. Is he raps. like a he rap raps. Yeah. Okay. But he out. raps like how white people rap, but not like super fast. He's found a good balance. He's not super white. Got it. <laughs> no, Got you it. need a better album cover for me to listen to this. No, nah, that's what the kids like now. I'm 40. <laughs> <laughs> but he's going, hey, and he's some, going to the kids. Hey, and at some point, maybe no time soon, some of you hip-hop niggas will have to come clean with, you need to appeal to the 40-year-old. Hey, the 21, 22-year-old mm. niggas ain't copping you. <laughs> some of y'all need to appeal to me. <laughs> oh no, that's a fact. That's what I'm saying. That's a fact. Yeah, some of y'all in denial about that. Yeah, but go ahead. Uh, Benny put out a song today as well. I downloaded, it, but I didn't get a chance. To I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. I think uh, Black Matter for it. Shot the Black Matter for just a song out of nowhere for nothing. Yeah, he said I'm back. Where'd he go? <laughs> that's what I asked over there. <laughs> <laughs> Did I produce my Fuse 808 Mafia? Yeah, it's a good record. Yeah, okay. Good joint. Good good record. I missed um, this. I gotta check this. Uzi put out the deluxe. I didn't get a chance. Uzi on. Is it a deluxe or is it just a whole new album? I, it's both. It's, both. Oh, okay. it's a deluxe, which is a new album, which is also him asking his fans, hey, which songs y'all want to hear? And him delivering those songs <laughs> on the deluxe. I like that. That's dope. Wait, how did the fans know what they wanted to hear? Uh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea. You're not in touch with the fans, Sparks. You're right. You're right. I'm not in touch with Uzi's fans particularly. So Uzi, Uzi did... not, Oh, so he's not playing. He's trying to... <laughs> That's he what not I'm bullshit. saying. He, yeah, he's trying to. Yeah. If Shout he does another 350, I'm going to be back to back. Super, I, do, I do not think he's doing that. Super dog. impressed. If he does another 350, I do then. not think he's doing another 350. Or but for me, he don't have to do another. I don't think it's physically three. possible. We don't the time. have to do another. If he does above 200, I'm putting that's him. Still, I'm putting crazy. him wherever y'all are talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. In back to back weeks, Uzi Vert, 311,000. Round of crazy, applause. Crazy. Hold up. Round of applause. That's, 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 that's nice. crazy. <laughs> that's great. Janae Aiko, 154. Congratulations, also, Queen. Well deserved. Amazing. Very good. Very I think good. it's her highest selling, de- uh, highest uh, debut. Uh, I don't know who this is at 118. Lil Baby at 104. I don't know who that's this is. That's Roddy Rich at 59. Still. Roddy Rich busting y'all ass. <laughs> Still. Hey, Post Malone, number seven with 51,000. Busting y'all ass in week 279. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, Justin Bieber at 49,000. That's not week one for him, right? No. That's no. week two. Three or four or five. Meg Thee Stallion, 44,000. Not bad at all. Respectable numbers from everybody, man. Respectable numbers. Congratulations to everybody who put something out, who's still on the charts. It's fucked up, can't none of us tour and get money. <laughs> yeah, it's a dirty game. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's crazy. Um, that was all for the music, right? Yeah, I guess we get into the Ronies then. Get to the yeah. Ronies. Rony Montana. Rony Soprano. Man, listen. Maul, how you feel, man? There's no no more no more ball. Uh it's just a little weird. It's a little awkward. But I think um, I think it had to be done. I think it was necessary. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's not, you can't be but so upset about it. You got to understand it. It's like when people at the airport get mad when their flights are delayed and it's a thunderstorm. I right. look at them like, yo, what? what is your problem? Yeah. Like, there's nothing you can do about that. You know and what then, I'm saying? And then they yell at the, at the, the, per, the, the person desk. at yeah, the desk. Like, that's like, like, like why, why are you cursing her out? She has nothing to do with this. Right. So I understand it. It was, you know, they, they don't want, you know, any more players to become ill and they don't want to you know put any of the fans at risk and they don't want any of the fans to put any of the players at risk vice versa so i understand it and this is something that you know everybody is being affected by and we just gotta be patient and you know be be prayed up pray up i was in the middle uh, of uh, like man. real 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 quick because i have nothing to do with nothing i was in the middle of like a 15 minute argument uh with jet blue one time about them just losing my first class seat and I stopped mid argument. Well, fam, you're about to sit down and fly Mad Mouse. Right. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. You ever saw like, what the, are you complaining the, about? The Louis C.K. bit? Honestly. About? Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's true. So you're flying. That was the bit that popped into my head. I'm like, you know what? My bad. <laughs> Yo, you're yeah. flying you in gotta, the air. You give me, put give, things give in me the new time. <laughs> yeah, put, put things in perspective, man. Yeah, you don't have to always be an asshole. Yeah. But you, you were saying, Rory? Uh, yeah. I didn't want to be phony. I want to say it to Maul's face. Um, I almost started a new group chat 
without you to ask the fellas if they felt safe being around you, being that you are around NBA players a lot, mm. and you may be infected with the virus. You might have been with uh, Rudy. I've never met Rudy Gobert a day in my life. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fine, no well, I'm fine. Yeah, no. Have you been tested? Well, no, I don't think any of us, they don't even have testing available like that yet in the U.S. I thought maybe in the locker rooms they might. No. Well, so, yeah, I mean, in corporations like that, yes. But, um, yeah, man, I'll, I don't know. This is and something. And you've come in contact with some women that have been in contact with NBA players. They're spreading it. Oh, you That's have a- too. Let me tell you, buddy. Yeah, uh, Joe, so? I don't want to oh, be phony. Yes. I was going to I was gonna start a separate, <laughs> separate group chat that, no, to no, ask if Joe was safe to be around. Just know, just, we ain't got to whisper. <laughs> nigga, don't try to lean over for the whisper, nigga. We ain't got to whisper. Yeah, no, it's public just information. Me, yeah, what I tell you. You guess Absolutely, it? you've been in contact you with you guessing? Women. You don't know that. Been in no, I don't know. With no. Rudy Gobert. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Damn, Damn sure. Rudy hitting that toe. Y'all took Rudy's slides? Man. No, Rudy took y'all slides. <laughs> no, we you know sh- women love no. that French yeah. accent. Y'all are the slides. <laughs> yeah. No, we share slides with these athlete niggas, which yeah. has become you guys are the slides now. Yeah, men are slides. It's reversed. Nah, I'm kind it's of reversed. Y'all the slides now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm kind of slides. I'm kind of still getting shit off while they fuck with these niggas. <laughs> 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 oh my god! I respect it. This one of them. This one of them kicking it moments. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> um, listen, we came in here fucking around for like two weeks straight. It's real now. No, it's real. Uh, it's thousand percent real. real. I told y'all I didn't want to go to uh, Puerto Rico because I felt like they would shut down the, the U.S. I was a good. Good foresight, yeah. man. Uh, and I still think they're gonna. I, I think next week. I think next week they're locking us down. They're going to slow walk us into it, as yeah. they should, because yeah. Americans will lose their fucking shit They'll if they crazy. say, yo, we're about to lock down for a week or two weeks. So do you think United will give me my money back for my trip no. next Friday? Probably not. Yeah, no, they, they they, you ain't getting no money back. They, no, no, ain't no I funds think, coming back. When the no, market yeah, you might get a little a credit. I'll take, I'll take my voucher. They, they yeah. released that old airlines, if you book through March 31st, something like that, like they're, they'll give you a gift card. Waving, yeah, they're waving all of that. No, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, I was trying to go to Florida. Real disappointed to see exactly how far behind China we are in just things. I mean, they make everything for us. Including the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See how that works? Full circle. Well, you do know that the president did uh, he did eliminate the pandemic department. Yeah, I read that. In 2018. Like, uh, how dare you? Trump. Yes. yes. How, how I know. Dare as soon as he got in, he, about the he, he, undid, the he undid all some good shit that Obama did. Yeah. Yeah, so... I mean, you know, again, this is I'm not I'm not one of those people that blame Trump for everything. I'm not no. that guy, but this is, you know, uh, maybe a result, you know. There have been some questionable decisions being When made. you hear oh, yeah. when you hear about what China is doing and you hear Trump telling us or America our American government telling us to wash our hands, you feel like an idiot. <laughs> Granted, no, we're washing our stupid. hands, but they done they taking the temperature of every building you walk in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They have special Quarantine centers designed mm-hmm. to uh, protect people. They fucking they've been on this, and it's been effective. Yeah, it's the thing. That's the other thing. Yeah, the numbers. The numbers are kind of like uh, in a much out. much more densely populated country. Well, why don't you guys move to China then? Since you're disrespecting America and, sure, and the president cool. of the United States. Well, I didn't know that America <laughs> was so stupid. I didn't know that the people leading us Wait, would fail what, would fail us. Where have you in been? This way. Well, we vote. Well, no, we I didn't put Trump in office. No, no. You say where have I been? But but the one strong area that everyone pointed to with Trump is stock market. Yeah, and it, like it when is, he took office, plummeting. When he took office, niggas said, "Hey, he might not do that shit else, but he can get some money. He can fix our financial crisis." And now here we are in an, an election year in a financial crisis. Has Trump ever <laughs> fixed anybody's financial crisis? That's the funniest thing about that whole shit. I don't know people that had money. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. Well, if you had stocks, it, it's done relatively. None well. of his businesses have been particularly uh, profitable on their own. Listen, I'm so. not a I'm not a Trump supporter I, in any way. Quite the opposite. I'm, I'm with not, you about not. Blaming. I'm not going to sit here and yeah, say all, that he hasn't done all anything the, good in but office. But don't all the successful businesses show as <laughs> not profitable businesses? Yeah, when come come like, tax isn't time, isn't that thing? Yeah. <laughs> come tax time. Yeah. yeah, we we didn't make anything. No, you operated a loss. <laughs> yeah, no we had a loss. <laughs> <laughs> we lost mad money. <laughs> yeah. True, true. Good point. Uh, yeah. This is uh the Rotas is real. Speaking of which, I got audited today. Damn kid, from who? Are the only people that could audit you, the IRS. They don't believe you. From my 20, 2018 taxes. 
What'd you fudge? <laughs> I won't say for off the mic. Oh, them, them I had a horrible day, by the way. Damn. I, I don't know if, I don't know if my energy has been down today. I had one of the worst uh, days of my life. I, th- I thought you were still at the Mountain Dew rack. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I, thought you I, ca- I came in here perplexed. 20, I didn't even get to start 20, my 2019 20. taxes today because I, you know how like you take They all, shouldn't have the resources to be worried about you right That's now. what I'm saying. <laughs> Fail. I said, me? <laughs> I was pissed. Somebody pulled the plug on you, oh, B. Oh, man. But Rory been getting money and y'all don't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> y'all don't want to, y'all don't want to acknowledge it. Y'all keep letting them trick you. Uh, yeah. And it's going to stay that way. <laughs> Young brokey. Now, I hope that works out, out for you because that's fucked up. Because yeah. when they come, you got to make sure like shit is like right. Oh, it's like oh no, I, they've ordered me before. I got the I got the premium QuickBooks. <laughs> I'm going through everything. Yeah, but the rest of you is straight, right? That's oh, great. Yeah, it was yeah, only yeah. one year. No, t- 2018 was would would be the time that they would do it. Oh yeah, you was eating eating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a great was great only- year for Palooza. Was that? <laughs> Was that the only thing that contributed to your uh, bad day? Yeah, and then I didn't get to even start on my 2019 shit. Because I just took yeah, all but my envelopes and bro- an, But they're giving us an extension, no? <laughs> we don't know that yet. They should. No. I, shit, I found out. I See, this is why you should be taught certain things. For one of my LLCs, the deadline is Monday. Wow. I just happened to schedule my tax shit today. Not even know. I thought it was April 15th for everything. He's like, no, no, dog. You got to do this now. Oh, shit. <laughs> You'll be all right, man. That's a little nuts. Yeah. No, it's a shitty day. No. And I don't even want to know what my 2019 is going to be. You'll be fine. I can tell you. <laughs> shitty. <laughs> You're going to owe. So I hope we keep these store dates. <laughs> I'm, I'm in need. <laughs> Welcome to the 1099 life, buddy. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, well. Um... Uh, I want to commend the fucking mayor of Atlanta for saying, no, you cannot shut off people's water, even if they owe money. Um, big move. Uh, I think Just New- a human move. <laughs> right. <laughs> At word. Yeah, but capitalism gets in front of humanity all the time. Yeah, that's, oh, I mean, that's, that's the problem of- with this country. Uh, I think I saw that New York would not be allowed to evict people if they were late or without rent during this period. Mm-hmm. Um, what else have I seen that's been interesting with It's been this? talk about uh, bumps in uh, unemployment and nothing has gone through. I don't even know if the eviction shit has gone through yet, mm-hmm. but uh, they're talking about a lot of different shit. Unemployment uh, benefit bumps and uh, loan forgiveness on uh, student student loans, temporary. Um, yeah, it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tough couple of weeks for us. But and he has to he has to show the ability to lead. Uh, I think his entire residency will probably be judged by yeah absolutely by agree. how he handles this. absolutely and by and so far he has not handled it well no which puts us in a weird spot because I was one of the people that said yet again we don't have a candidate that can beat him and now Medicare for all is making a lot of sense right now. <clears throat> I definitely felt like uh, Trump would definitely uh, win the election again uh, two weeks ago. I don't know if I still feel like that with how he's handling this. No, he, it, it, this is it, it'll be seen in the next two weeks, which scares me even no, more. No, I'm seeing it now. He he no, can't. It's bad. He's not he's not fit for. I'm it. just to the masses. He's not. Fit it for takes this. the masses a little longer. No, he's still lying. Well, to shit. Well, we just had to find out. I just had to find out on who's the girl I always watch, Rachel Maddow. Yes, yeah. I love her. Yeah. She hates him. <laughs> and she gives it up like, right. and that's why I don't think hate is always a bad thing like sometimes when you're so strong in your hate the same way when you're so strong in your love you just do certain shit out of the love you do certain shit out of hate and sometimes it's good shit I love when she goes in on him um, but yeah the fucking uh, I was watching her when I learned the, the world health board came to all of the countries mad long ago and said hey some shit is coming it's fucking everything up mm. We have tests for you. Do you want them? And we were the only people that said no. Yeah. So they could make a pro- Reminds- more, more profitable uh, test. Yeah. And then, right, so we watching the spooky, eerie video of Bill Gates a million years ago proclaiming that there was a virus coming. Uh, it wouldn't It wouldn't be, uh, what do you say? It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, uh, what was everybody wearing? A war. It would be a disease mm-hmm. to do it, a virus to do it. 
And now yesterday, Bill Gates has stepped down from the Microsoft board. Mm Mm-hmm. And what else was I've that? always been a conspiracy theorist, so I don't want to lend my brain to this, but the timing is peculiar. And what was that? The timing that, that is woke, odd. That woke video I put in our group chat had some more information about Bill Gates' uh, involvement in this entire thing. Oh, uh, did it? I didn't see it. Yeah, I didn't watch it. I just made jokes. We was recording. Yeah. Oh, well, shit. I got it right here. I'll play it. Get ready to be woke. Well, I'm woke after the Jay election. There are strange True. facts surrounding the coronavirus outbreak of 2020. Turn down a little bit. In 2018, the Peerbright Institute was granted mm-hmm. a patent for the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. Yep. The Peerbright Institute is funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Well, what do you know? <laughs> On October 18th of 2019, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, along with John Hopkins and the World Economic Forum, hosted Event 201, Mm. a high-level pandemic simulation in New York City. Mm. The simulation, which was held just three months ago, was based on the coronavirus. What do you know? concluded that it could kill 65 million people and decided the solution was to have a vaccine within months of an epidemic. The same week that the coronavirus makes headlines... Netflix releases the docu-series Pandemic, Pandemic. How to Prevent an Outbreak, wherein the solution is vaccines and the trusted hero is Bill Gates. Sounds fishy. Meanwhile, the Bill and Bill Bill Gates Foundation fund Innovio Pharmaceuticals, Inc. to develop a coronavirus vaccine. The beat in the background is harder than the JLAC beats. Right? (laughs) Relax. <laughs> it is. Relax. No, no, no. It is weird, buddy. What about this? Keep going. 5G, an emerging technology mm. upgrade that has many countries concerned about its impact on human health. The coronavirus is five grams. The world mm-hmm. warn of the Shut up, of 5G. In 2018, it mm. was reported locally that Wuhan would be the testbed city for full mm. 5G network operation I love in Wuhan. China. The article went on to say that it would be fully operational by 2020. Mm. And on Halloween of 2019, they turned it on. Scientists Damn, 5G warned that got the 5G rotas in it? causes it does. flu-like mm. symptoms. They just hit the switch. <laughs> so corny. Is that when All this fast internet and we got to pay for it with the flu? Yeah, with the rones. Shit. Facebook blocks you from doing so. Oh. Uh, you know, Facebook got to be involved. Guidelines. Of course, Facebook. Yeah, why, yeah, why they throw Mark Zuckerberg under the bus every time? Because <laughs> he's a they, the devil. <laughs> That's why. Um, See, now this, sounds like, now this sounds like it makes a lot of sense to me. And, like and listen, I'm a guy that knows nothing about nothing. Right. I don't know shit, but I know that if you're circulating this old video of Bill Gates a million years ago saying, hey, it's going to be a virus that does it, it says to me that Bill Gates was ahead of the play. And as someone that's been ahead of the play before, you don't stop being ahead of the play. You, uh, you, carry, you, you follow through. A couple things with that. First of all, with the video or anything like this. Why do they always use that voice for any YouTube conspiracy video? I like that. Uh, <laughs> but also, I would like to see some references. Two, of I think that Bill Gates is not even close to the only person that thought that a sickness would be the thing that would be the biggest threat to humanity. No. I, That's a very like, common like thing. Like it hasn't happened. It's happened in before. M- Several times. Bill <laughs> Gates, like all of for me... He's also one of the richest human beings, so him investing Thank in... You. But that's that's my next point. And he stole the internet from we, Al Gore. We could think that. Yeah. We could, we could 20 years ago say... A virus, that's what's going to do it. Mm. The difference is having the capital and the relationships to be able to capitalize from it. Okay. Like, if you're involved or can be involved or can be responsible for a cure, and you're one of the only geniuses that all of us know, like, it just all makes sense to me as somebody that knows nothing about nothing. I haven't fact-checked anything, like you said. I ain't read shit, but... I also think it's kind of irrelevant and dangerous and irresponsible to... This is funny to me, and like it's jokes, but the uh, conspiracy theory in the midst of something like this is not helping anybody. Oh, that's true. You know that's what true. I mean? That's, like, true. that's true. That's true. Let's, but, let's figure out the proper solution. For sure. But for you know sure. what's but funny? Isn't it, is it a conspiracy theory to say that, hey, at the end of the day, someone will capitalize? No. Like, I don't, that's, I don't that's think... That's America. I don't think, yeah, I don't think that's a conspiracy. That's, yeah, that's why I've never 
even really understood that phrase for things. It's Conspiracy not, theory? It's not a theory. Right. <laughs> People Y'all could, are capitalizing yeah, on yeah. this shit. You are conspiring to profit off of death. That's not a, a theory. That oh, happens right. with oh, everything. Pro- you're, you're, you know, it's all about vaccinations, wanting to inject people with stuff. And, you know, you just got to eat right, put the right shit in your body. And read, get vaccinated. Educate yourself. <laughs> Funny to me that, you know, New York clears a state of, uh, declares a state of emergency and allows the schools to continue. Not funny because I understand why. Oh, schools are closed. If you no, take, they're, they're going to. Oh, yeah. They're going, they're going to. to. Um, there's a lot the, of reasons today, why. Uh, mainly, there's a lot of students. Not a lot, but there are a significant amount of students that are homeless mm-hmm. or in fucked up sam- family situations. They can only. Eat and us. school yeah. is the only yeah. place where they're getting meals or mm-hmm. safety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So throwing them out in the to streets is them, not yeah. really the safest thing. And I, I mean, not, the ideal and not for the people that's going to the streets, for the people that are actually going home to their families, you know, some of those families now have to be responsible for you being at home while no doubt. I would be gone. No doubt. Or for, yeah, you have to account for those hours. Child care is not cheap. Not at all. Child care is not cheap. Health care is not cheap. None of this shit that we keep talking about is cheap. Right. What yeah. should be done? What do you guys? What prop, what proposal do you guys have? Uh, listening to the scientists. Fourteen and paid sick days. Maybe uh, listening to the scientists and uh, uh, medical professionals. I think is the smartest thing to do. And then the government acting in whatever way to facilitate what is the best thing to do. If that means everyone needs to stay inside relatively, let's all stay inside. And on, a, on I just a- want everyone to stay inside for a goal, obviously to not spread it, of course. Right, but. Putting everyone inside and everyone losing money and not being able to pay their bills, y'all got to get busy if we're sitting inside. <laughs> yeah. Like, for real. Yeah. We need to be able to get something that will allow us to go back outside. Us just sitting inside for a, a time we don't know. Right. Go get busy, man. Absolutely. So they have allowed um, two quick points here. Um, damn, what were the two quick points just that fast? What the hell were we talking about? Uh, um, quarantine and Staying inside. Disease. Oh, do not listen. I'm talking to. I'm talking to uh, my demo out there. Uh, actually, I'm talking to all of y'all out there, except for the senior citizens. Do not be afraid to tell your parents to sit their fucking asses down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Parks and I were talking about that earlier. You know, as as you age, when you're older, I know I've heard from my mom. You know, they just want to live as much life as they could live. Mm-hmm. Right yeah. now, we we not missing a beat. We out. No. Mm-hmm. Um. So there might be the the propensity to just keep going and yeah. no, my not mom, mom stay just went to Aruba. Like my dad's birthday is this weekend. And my mom and just a few people were like, hey, let's all get together and throw a big dinner. Let's not. Mm. Let's not. We can get together in a house somewhere, mm. maybe. Right. But sit your asses home. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, as wrong. much as possible. As much as, as, much, as, much as you can. As much yeah. as you can. Yeah. And, I just, I just, and, I just and not only that, up. just just make sure you're doing the basic shit that you should have been doing. You know what I mean? Washing your it's hands, true. you know, like disinfecting your home, your car. And when they cure this shit, your phone. don't stop washing your hands. Right. <laughs> Word. Continue. Continue. And also, yeah, do that. forever. Don't don't go into like panic mode. Most people are not. Uh, if they do get infected, you you will fight it. You will win. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You're not aside from a very small percentage of the population, right? Don't go to the uh, uh, grocery store. And buy every single roll of Words. toilet paper. Leave some shit. Have Leave some, some shit. You don't need a year's worth of toilet paper. You right don't, need, a, You'll be you don't right. need 30 rolls of tissue. Like yeah. I'm buying a bidet. I yeah. read that to prepare for whatever is coming. Uh, and again, I haven't... Bidets are also selling out, by the way. So that, um, that philosophy is... I read that they're coming up with like a $150 uh, trillion dollar short fund program uh, to help through these trying times. And even that news, though I didn't, I didn't check it. I didn't read further. But the thought of that made me even sadder because it just brings you back to all of this for money, and money's meaningless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just paper that they write shit on that at any given time they could add more or they could add or decrease. <laughs> right. 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 That's a and we out we here created. just going crazy. It's nasty, man. My views about this fucking country. Well, that's that's kind of my to my point of get busy. I'm more terrified of the inevitable of political egos and fighting two different sides 
It's already it, happening. Like, yeah, like that. When I when I was saying go get busy, I, I, y'all are just gonna fight each other and prove this is why I told you you shouldn't be the leader and we should be. And right. I just I just can see the real point not being addressed. Yeah. Within these arguments with this ego shit. Yeah. Like that's that's why I said the other episode that I think Democrats and Republicans are Coke and Pepsi. Like it's just Absolutely. gonna it's just gonna be more arguments and not really what our main goal is here. Yeah, they're gonna politic instead of <laughs> solution. Yeah. <laughs> and uh I'm asking because I, I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to a lot of shit. Uh could this put us in, in martial law? Um I mean potentially. Hopefully it doesn't go that far. That would be terrifying. Yes it would. Yes it would. Uh, I don't think we're gonna even more think terrifying. It's gonna get to that. I don't think it's going to get to that, but I mean, just prepare oh, if for there's you. anyone that would like that more than any sitting president ever, it would yeah. be that guy. I mean, potentially. Yeah, I don't. I'm with Maul that I don't like to blame him. And you know, no, no, you know, I, 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 but just, I do kind of. I just know his him, his how his brain works to yeah. some degree, and uh, nobody would like that better. Yeah, I just didn't want to play outstanding. Oh, okay, that's cool. Is this the Beyonce <laughs> I version? Us to fit. No, Roy, <laughs> this is not the Beyonce version. That was only funny to you and I. Let me hear you. You don't, you don't make me you, happy. Julian. Thank you, Julian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, they they never do it with me. Like they just don't <laughs> fuck with me. I'm not singing. You make me happy to you. <laughs> You make me happy. I'm not singing that back to you. Scream that in a room full of men. <laughs> I think I do make Rory happy, though. I think that's a lie. <laughs> I think that's wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong for saying that. I'm gay. <laughs> I think I do make Rory happy. <laughs> I, I think we cool. Yo, y'all have, y'all have bumped into, listen, I've been doing a lot of internal soul searching taking a lot of personal inventory especially off of the last podcast where we bumped into like that 30 minutes of serious talk Mm, uh Mm. that's part of my jadedness too it's not just from women it's not just that i feel i have given so much to my relationships with the opposite sex and they've turned out the way they've turned out Mm. in searching deeper I think just in most of my relationships in life, I have given more. So it leads to the byproduct of this jaded man. Oh, uh, yeah, but I think, have you... Sp- I saw you, you speak- going through a little jaded rant on, on Twitter. Come on. Oh, well, I, I was talking to, to one of my... Uh, Give it to us. One of my close female friends. Uh, she had just, she just texts me from time to time. And we just catch up. And um, I was telling her about certain shit. that She had asked about certain... People and I'm like, yeah, no, nah, we don't, we not cool no more. We don't really speak like that. And it's funny because years ago we had a conversation and she was just telling me like, she said, yo, you're, you're so cool that it allows. She said you need to be more of an asshole, like you need to be more of a dickhead. And I was like, why? She was like, because you're such a cool person that people that shouldn't be around you can end up around you. Okay. Because you're just like that type of guy where you're so inviting and it's so like. You're so chill and nonchalant with shit. You, like, you give access. That's where right. the whole protect your space and energy right. shit really and, comes from. Yeah. And you know, I lo- and the, the thing about women is they can see things that us as men will never see. No, that's, that's, that's they why see you're from a different that's why lane. You need friends facts. of the opposite sex. Big facts. And they no pick up what. Right, and they pick up on things that we just would miss. And she said, there's, um, there's he's only not, certain things that the opposite sex can tell you about you. Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And she used to always say that all the time, like, yo, why do you call him your boy, your homeboy, your, your, like your friend? He's not your friend. He doesn't like you. And I'm like, yo, what are you talking about? That's, that's my nigga. Like, I'm, you know, certain dudes. I'm like, yo, you bugging. And she was like, okay. Like, you know, she didn't argue. She was just like, okay, just remember I told you. She said, I could just tell by the way some of these guys look at you when you're talking, when you walk in a room. Like, I can, like, women can sense that. Like, yo, they don't really fuck with you like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I waved it off. This is, is my home. superpower of... of- of women. of women, yeah. And I waved it off like, man, whatever. Like, you just don't fuck with him. You don't like him, whatever. You know, I'm thinking it might be something more to it. Right. You used to talk to him. You know, as men, that's what we go to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have a vendetta against him, not me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and Which and, happens sometimes, by the oh, way, Oh, absolutely. Too. Yeah. And just, yeah, you know, and it's funny because just not even maybe three Bro, years later. Jesus. See, home love. I didn't see this tweet from all. Some of your friends be secretly competing with you, praying you don't elevate and change for the better. That's disgusting. Absolutely, though. It's, it's a fact. Like That's a, lot of, a, a lot of your uh, friends yeah, want to, well, quote unquote, me. friends. They want to see you. Uh, they don't want to see you do 
good. That goes oh, to a conversation we had a long time ago too, where I was like, "Fan, I've never been in competition with like somebody I care about." I I don't even. No, never. I can't even. My I can't even process that. Yeah. Like if you're my friend or my family, it's like not real competition, friendly competition, absolutely. Yeah, but, the but type no, of competition no, I I'm in with my friends. Succeed. If right, yeah, if, get right. Up. <laughs> if you pull up with a brand new BMW, guess what I'm want to go get? Exactly. I'm exactly. like, oh my nigga, you don't because now if we if we crew and we oh, brothers, I'm getting in the passenger seat. We all, oh yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, we, but I'm just we saying, out. but you aspire the way to the you know yeah, get, yeah, get yeah. But, but you aspire, yeah. you aspire to pull up next to your man though. Yeah. Like nigga, we look good out here. Right. That's just me how I was raised. Right. A lot of dudes now they don't want. It's, it's either about them or fuck everybody else, and it's I, I, fucked yeah. up. You know what I mean? Like a it's lot sad. of that comes from having to constantly get instant gratification, like you were saying. About Absolutely. Them. I know Absolutely. we bring everything back to social media and it's becoming redundant, but I think that really plays so much into that. And uh, it's you just constantly uh, have to have up. this weird mind state where I have to let strangers know how well I'm doing. Yeah, but uh, and another thing and that too is friendships. Some niggas just some niggas are just you know. Well, you know what? They want to just be about them. I'm gonna try not to take it there. Go take ahead. it, take it, take it there. I'm gonna try not to take it there. But when is in in male friendship? When is the friendship ever tried and tested? And I do believe that every relationship not needs to be tried and tested, but every relationship kind of has checks and balances. Mm -hmm. Like if you have a girlfriend, you know the behavior that makes her not your girlfriend anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That doesn't have to be spoken about. Right. Mm -hmm. When it comes to your friend, it's just ongoing that this is your friend. Rarely do you get into instances where the the exact nature of that relationship is mm -hmm. tried and tested. I disagree. Speak to it. Uh, when you need some shit, uh, like a, a legitimate favor, I need you to. I have. You know, let me let me pick respond. something up or whatever. I have had a friend say to me, just in hypothetical situations, "Yo, if I'm real fucked up and I call my friend at 4 a.m. and tell him I'm fucked up, I need you to get out of bed and and come see me, and he don't get out of bed, that's not my friend." I've totally just dis disagreed with that. It depends. That's on not exactly it's... what circumstance. Mm, yeah. You're in. It depends. It it also depends on the circumstance your friend is in. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Before, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Fucked up in what way? You know what I'm saying? Are you like? On the verge of death or jail, or are you just drunk and don't want to call a cab? No, I'm you know saying I mean? the friend that you yeah. ask you to leave, me to leave the house. <laughs> right. Like if your friend is in the house with a fucking newborn baby and he can't come out at four in the morning when you when you really need him as a friend. Right. Well, call one of the other homies or something. I was right. going to say, I wouldn't call that friend. I, I, well, my only point is that don't make that person not your friend. No. No, no, no. Oh, it yeah, does. true. It does. It does. It does. It does. It's, it's, it's both ways. Yeah. How yeah, much yeah, shit are you in and what am I doing? No, I'm speaking more so I'm speaking more so to shit like How do you find this out, Maul? like I when, guess that's when, what I'm I saying. Think, I think when the, the I think when the role in your friendship changes. Yeah, that's a big one. You know what I'm saying? When the that's position in your friendship changes, uh sometimes, you know, uh Sometimes people, it doesn't bode well. Yeah, like sometimes when people meet you at a certain stage, a certain point. They want to keep you there, like they're not ready to see you in another stage. But well, why of your is life. that on them? Is is it? Well, why they, is it on they them? put that on them. It shouldn't be. If you my friend, you supposed you supposed to want to see me through all stages of my life. Yeah. Like and, and 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 cheer for me and be happy for me and support me the same way I would do for any of my friends. Like when I say my friends, like my niggas know how I get down for my friends. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying. You don't have to question my loyalty to my friends. Like, right. but it's just that sometimes. You meet people and you, you know what I'm saying like I said with my friend my homegirl she was like yo them niggas don't fuck with you like that yeah. like I can I can see it yeah. she said you don't see it because as women we pick up on things differently when men are in the room in our defense women say that to us out of spite too <laughs> women say well, that yeah, shit. but we said but, but, but you gotta know but you gotta know even your friend them niggas no, no, trying to no, kick but, it to me last yeah, summer yeah but no but you gotta know you gotta know <laughs> well, what type fine. of women you talking to though you gotta I'm, I'm talking about my friends are wolves I'm talking about the real female friends not just some women you just met like the real ones that really care about you they'll let you know and and it's just funny because now I look back when she said that and. Three or four dudes that I really thought was my homies, like we don't even speak anymore. Right. And it wasn't anything that I did. It was just like life changed, and I guess you know they don't want to root for me the way I rooted for them or supported them, and they're not comfortable with with that. You know, I don't, I don't know. I can't. I can't. It's speak an adjustment. To it. It's an adjustment. It's an adjustment. But, but my thing is, in life, there are adjustments. People have to get used to adjustments. 
Like I support my yeah. friends through any stage of their life. Right. You my boy. I want to see right. you do good. As long as you ain't out here doing nothing crazy, bringing harm to yourself or others, I'm I'm supporting you. I'm rooting for you. But you know, it's, yeah. yeah. Also, just that, how often? Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Well, that was kind of something in my late twenties. I had to start dealing with, and not really to Maul's point, but kind of the same way I felt I could outgrow people. I had to realize I could be outgrown, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. and not take that personally. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. and whether I agreed with it or disagree with it, like, yeah, I got to know that the same way I think that way, that person could think I'm outgrowing you. We're, but, we're growing but, in different places. But I think, whether that's negative or positive is not really my point because it's their life. Right. But I think what you're saying is different from what I'm saying. I no, it is, it, is, it is different. I understand different, gro- outgrowing but, people like, but my thing is when I'm growing and I'm elevating, I try to put my homies on like, yo, this is the wave. Right. This is what we need to be on. These are the right. type of conversations we need. Like, I'm not still running in the clubs, running behind girl. Oh, she got a fat ass. Every girl got a fat ass now. You can buy a fat ass. <laughs> like, I don't, that don't, that don't do it for me no more. Like, how dudes get excited when girls walk in the room. Like, I always greet the women, but I'm not always in a woman's face trying to holler. Like, I don't, I, because my thing is, okay, you're beautiful, but what else? Right. That's where I'm at now. That's you're the problem. We have the gorgeous, what else part. But and, what else? And that's where the, the what else be. Rough. And, my, and, and if my niggas can't move like that around women and they don't understand that, then oh, it's yeah, like yeah. I can't hang out with y'all yeah, because yeah. the way y'all moving in the room with women is different from the way I'm moving in the yeah. room with women. But even how. Too how, excited. Back to my excitement yeah. point. Yeah. You're too excited to be in this room. Yeah. True. Yeah. And yeah, how your friendship is rooted was when you were younger. Mm-hmm. It's, a, it's a young thought. Like, mm-hmm. I've had a lot of people expect things from me just because we happen to grow up in the same location or we're young and friends like Mm -hmm. our friendship is rooted in in youth right not our our thought process right so i can't automatically think because we've been friends for 20 years it could be stagnant our friendship it could still be rooted in youth Mm -hmm. not in mind state Mm -hmm. if that makes any sense no i get it i understand exactly what you're saying but you got to learn that the hard way. When you realize your yeah. friends, you have an opportunity, and they ain't coming with you. <laughs> yeah. Like, dog, I'm I'm setting it up at the rim for us. Right. And I've and, learned, and, and you sitting there chilling. I'm sitting like, wait, I, we grew up together. I thought we had the same goals in mind. No, right. we didn't. Yeah. And we I'm, just we just happened to grow up in the same place. And I'm one of those type of our people. Mothers, I don't, I don't, our mothers knew each other. I don't get bitter about <laughs> like you that's know, all it is. Friendships, uh, you know, not moving forward. Like I don't. I used to get bitter about that. Like, oh fuck him or that. But now it's like, you know, you get older, you just understand certain things like, you know what? I understand. Yeah. Like where you where you want to go and, and where your mind is at and where I want to go and my mind is at is two different places. But when you start to see yeah, certain remember. behaviors from men that you thought was like your your peoples, yeah. that's when it gets... It makes it easy. That's when it's like, all right, fam, mm-hmm. I, I, I can't fuck with you yeah. because you just, uh, you're a clown. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's, uh, I, I would encourage... Every man, to, in some capacity, have some real women in your life, because it the women are gonna help us see shit that we could never see. I don't care how much of a real nigga, you know, you been through this. That that's all just you know icing. Like that that ain't yeah. shit. I'm talking about the real shit that women can see, that us as men will never be able to see coming. I just I think men men don't treat their friends the way they treat women, and I say that to say. We got chicks that we just fuck. We got chicks that will be wife. We got chicks that are friends. Like, with men, <laughs> we just, with, with like, there's no categories. We, we, oh, no, treat, categories. Our, we treat our friends. It's a great point, Rory. We treat our friends like wifey, yeah. off rip. Like, there's certain people that I keep in my life now for certain things. Like, if I need a spot to go out, you that friend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't expect, if we get a fight, or if you're the, the club plug or whatever you want to call it, like, mm-hmm. If we get in a fight, I'm not looking or expecting you to do anything because right. that's just who you are in my life. Right. The same way if it was a chick I was just fucking, I don't expect actual uh, substance you or support her to from you. Keep it tight for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, put it away. Yeah. Put it I away. don't expect not you to put it away. Put it away. No. no. Uh, and I no. think she's taking men, it out. <laughs> yes. It's on display. It's going out. Oh, yeah. with, with your friend that got the plug at the club. See, that's what I'm getting mad when chicks put it on display. Like, tuck that. Yeah. Not, well, everything is on display. But yeah, I, 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 are you like kidding it. me? Social media is nasty, though. I think men just treat their friends across the board and expect the same thing from their male friends. Just in general, like Regardless if you're my friend now, you, yeah. you got to be the friend that's gonna fight with me. Yeah, but you a shitty fighter. I don't even want you to fight with me. <laughs> I put my friends in different boxes. 
Well, that co- that comes degree. with yeah, with yeah. with years. Yeah, you of experience. understand the relationship. Yeah, you understand yeah. Uh, what you what, know who to go to. Yeah, for, for what? what? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. important. That's important. Yeah, like I tell sure. you all the time, mall is not the go to mall and tell them about your breakup friend. Why? But I think I'm a great guy for that. that. But he's that great friend. (laughs) He's the box that that you need to be like, yo, get over that shit. Yeah, because but but you need both. I'm gonna give you. You need both. I'm gonna give you honesty and raw. Kick it with you, then. (laughs) But I'm gonna give it to you uncut. I'm not gonna put no cut on it. I'm gonna tell you, yo, yo. I told you. I told you she was a slide. I told you. I told you. Like, bro, we I, tried I to tell you. We did Maul, tell you. Maul, Maul, I loved this. her, and I'm hurt. I don't want to hear that she was a slide. But I tried to. I, I tried to help you. you that Draymond Green was. <laughs> yeah, like I tried to help you avoid this pandemic. I mean, she was a warrior. He was a warrior. Yeah. <laughs> Like she was trying to play for the Warriors. She was a warrior. <laughs> you know the chick that was a warrior. As long as she's not jazz. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> as long as she's not jazz. Yes. Listen, uh, they need to arrest Rudy Gobert ass. That's funny. <laughs> Follow and don't, all the uh, mics. You skipped since we in our therapy bag two episodes in a row. You just skipped over the uh, I've done so much in my relationships part and didn't expound on that. Because I thought that was an interesting point. Yeah, but the therapist won't. <laughs> and, like and the therapist won't give a fuck about that point. No, nah, you, you could have done more. N- no, you could have done more. I've no, had, I've had that. I've how could you have done something different? I've had that conversation in therapy, and it's more your perception. Like you may place a lot of value into certain things you do for people in your relationships. That I'd be right though. See, that's that's what I would. I'd be right. Back. But no, you can't you can't do that because that person may not place that much value on that thing that you're placing so much value on. They do, they just be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, case in point of what I'm talking about, that ad clip we was looking at. Okay. That is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Okay. We were getting robbed somewhere. All of us. Mm-hmm. Me, him, well, give the give the, the listeners. Desk up. We were talking about everyday struggle. We, Ag put out a clip. Yeah, I guess I said something on the Breakfast Club. We didn't. I don't think that was on air. It wasn't on air. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You got to give them. Yeah, back uh, uh, we did an interview in the Breakfast Club, State of the Culture, and, and me and Charlemagne got to talking about uh, Ag and everyday struggle. I didn't think we said anything offensive. I didn't think. I don't recall anything offensive. But I know Ag Ag get defensive. He gets sensitive. He don't. You know, whatever. So Ag put out a tweet. Shouts to Wayne though. It's my nigga. Shout out to all of them. Shout out to me, nigga. That's my show still rocking. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. You haven't been over that show in That years. show does not exist without sleepless nights in Montclair trying to come up with a way. Yeah, okay, but. People- and that way is still moving, providing for people that we like. Okay. No, I'm not sleeping on that. Okay. But uh, back to this. Uh, so I put out some shit on Twitch that I didn't read it. I didn't look at it because mm-hmm. I'm not responding to none of that shit. Well, but, you're responding though. No, I'm responding to you. Okay. Because you said, <laughs> what do you mean? And this is a perfect example of that. Okay. Ack is in here saying something about, I don't know what he's saying because I didn't watch it. But the clip that you showed me said that I was in there. He said that I was in there. He said Complex said that I was in there asking for, oh, approval on what Ack gets paid. Mm-hmm. Pebbles. <laughs> Chili. <laughs> that, was my, that was my first crush. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. No, my first crush ever. So that's kind of my point. Like, I love Ack. I, I, I care. I, all three of them. I love Ack. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. I love Ack. I care about Ack. Ack hasn't been in this business, and we are all getting robbed. So when I go in, I'm fighting for the creators or the talent, mm. all of us, to get it. Us. Okay. Not how you distribute the money. It's not for you to tell me about the 900 people you have employed at Complex. I only care about this show and the two niggas I sit by. Mm. Yeah, that is Joe taking his weight, his leverage, his knowledge, his information, and attempting to do the right thing. Granted, to your point, you're right because he can't see that because he don't know. Uh, that, that's what I'm he can't say. see that, so he don't know. So it's he replies. Sore, so he replies on. with. This, which is, what the fuck is this? What are you talking about? Two different points. Yes, in some cases, some Yet people- another relationship where I create some shit, I put a, a, a curator, not a creative, a curative in that spot. Mm-hmm. It does well for him. 
It continues. He's probably killing Complex because Joe is gone. I'm sure he's making because great Joe, money over there. Because Joe is gone, you should be killing. There should be no reason for this. Oh, I always think public shit with business and I wouldn't know. Yeah, you guys are actually man. friends. I wouldn't do that. But I, I can't say that because that's what he does and that's his platform. That's so true. I, I can't, and I love I you, can't, I can't fault him for that because that's what he does. Um, but that's kind of a separate point, yeah. But in some cases, yeah. People don't know exactly the value that you're bringing them. But my original point was some people don't place that much value on the things that you place a lot of value on. Like... Money. Yeah, like for example, when we were having that, that funny talk, I forget how many episodes ago, uh, about if you pay all the bills and women just be like, whatever. Oh, yeah. And and to us, it's that's a a, that's a really big value to them. Well, in real life, it's a big thing. It's a, no, it's actually de- it's actually decent. <laughs> we're right. <laughs> <laughs> we are. But some people don't place value on that. They may place value in a different type of support. They do not care that you will pay that. They will go somewhere else. And You've been to the therapist. Oh, I, my therapist bag. <laughs> All I do is drink and go to therapy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, and, no, and, and get audited. <laughs> Anyways, let's do something fun. What are we doing fun? <laughs> Sleepers. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, you want to call Julius? We should call Julius. Hey, Finally get Julius on the I want to talk to Julius even though I am afraid. No, he wants to talk to you too. <laughs> he's been waiting. Nah. And since chill. he's jobless. All right, so how, how quickly is Joe gonna get into yo, he's a really good guy bag? I had <laughs> no idea. Maul. Look at Maul right here, man. Look at Maul. Look at you guys holding hands. Look at Maul. <laughs> holding hands. Maul, get the fuck out the next tunnel. Come on, come on, fam. You don't got that shit. Take that hoodie off, man. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't even want to talk to you. I want you and Joe to have your conversation. It was supposed no, to happen. Oh man. For a few I'm days. not even I'm gonna, here. I'm going to pass him the phone, man. I'm not even. Ah! <laughs> Jules! <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's already in the bag. He's already in the bag. First of his all, his name is Julius. How you doing, man? I'm good, bro. I'm what good. what you, doing, you doing? You got mad time on your hands. I got mad time, bro. I'm bored as hell already. You have to stay. Nothing. You have to stay in your uh, y'all. I saw something that said y'all had to stay in your team city, so you have to stay in New York. Can't move. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, Westchester County, dog. Don't you think that? Oh, I can't ask you nothing about the Knicks. We gotta, we gotta move out of Westchester. <laughs> See what I mean? We gotta get out of Westchester. Yeah. Now, me and you, we have to have I a like com- we have to have a conversation that I can't have on the air because I, I got a question for you. Oh, no, I can just let me know when you want me to come up there, bro. I ain't got nothing. You ain't doing mind. shit, goddammit. <laughs> hey, I ain't doing shit either. Yeah. Anytime you want to pull up, man, that'd be awesome. We could fucking kick it. I got a list of at least 10 questions, and you are the perfect <laughs> person for me to ask because I want to know. All right, I'll be up there. Hey, up there are sure. you married? I am. Oh, yeah. So the lockout don't even do nothing for you right now. You just gotta be a good <laughs> nigga. Just gotta be a good husband. <laughs> I'm, locked, I'm locked. I'm locked out and locked down. Oh my God, man, Jesus! Listen, no, soon, Maul, set this up soon. Yeah, because you soon, know what soon, I want to ask. Soon, Let's do it. Let's do it. This, this, this ain't like the energy I was expecting, though, dog. I can't give Ma, it. Maul said you. Maul said you were saying a lot. I got smoke. Okay. I All have right. smoke, but I listen, like listen. You're not getting that energy because in 2008, 2009. When uh, the Steph Curry draft, the Brandon Jennings draft, mm-hmm. uh, me and Brandon got on live just like we're doing right now. And I brought up the Knicks. He shitted on them. And then me and him never spoke again for like the next nine years. <laughs> <laughs> it became the biggest thing. So I'm, I learned to never do that again. I have smoke for you, though. And oh, I'm okay. getting to it. Don't think I'm pussy. <laughs> I ain't pussy. I'm getting to it. Don't hit uh, me, though. Pussy. Uh, <laughs> Don't hit me. You hear me? Right, I'm a bit. I'm a bit. <laughs> Hold on, nigga. You got reach, too. No, I'm, I'm going to call you back, bro. I'm going to call you back, bro. Right, right. right. I said he turned it over. I don't want to sw- <laughs> see him swing. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Right. No, I'm, I'm having that conversation, guys. What's, uh, what's going on? You linking something tonight? You got the I'm going out beard. Mm. <laughs> she does have a certain edge I know that beard. I've had that beard. That shit is clean. Yeah. I know <laughs> that beard. I've had that beard. <laughs> Yo, you Lincoln. Yo, don't ask me if I'm nah, Lincoln. Nah, that beard Lincoln. has links in it. I'm not Lincoln. I, I came from, uh, this is my second job that I'm at today. Okay. 
I, 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 I know, you know, look, you got, you got been, the beard for tonight. I've been looking like shit all week. I did this because Revolt TV, cool. I'm not Lincoln. I don't have you plans. De- you definitely set out, let me fly you out before they quarantine us with that beard, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't think, I don't think she's going she's gonna to make it, though. I, I have a, <laughs> her, fl- her flight is Thursday. I think that we'll be locked down before then. I still want to go visit my father in Florida on Friday. <laughs> have a blast. You will not be recording with us after. <laughs> yes, you will be yeah, quarantined you, you, from you the You will be FaceTiming us somewhere. Cause, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm not like Who y'all quarantine and chilling with? Well, Sam. Our wives. Ram. <laughs> Solo. I'm so glad to be out that way. Who you quarantine with? Yeah, word. <laughs> Multiple choice, nigga. When it, when it's <laughs> <laughs> Always go and see, bro. Always hey, go and see. Hey, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even. How we feeling tonight? Whoever ain't got it. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Might be a couple. I'm in know. trouble, man. Y'all better shut up. Yeah, let's Did you guys ever hear that, that album that they like released, unreleased? No, Joe's on it though. I think Joe's on it a couple times. Really? I think Just did damn near the whole thing. Really? Um, it's a raw. Uh, I found. Uh, I remember seeing a link, but then by the time I went and clicked it, it was gone. I, I just googled it while he was playing that. Everything is a story. You can still get it. It's not on the DSPs though. No, 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 no. I don't even know who released it, but it's still here. Oh, uh, no. Joe, I don't know if, if you want Ian to maybe audit someone for some publishing. <laughs> no, I live. <laughs> live. Live. Live for that verse. <laughs> Liv is hilarious. What's it called again? The story, what? Uh, everything is a story. Everything it's, is a story. It's got Ghost, Mary J, Fab, Pink, Joe Budden, uh, Claudia Ortiz, Maul's Girl, Mob Deep, MC Light, Buster. It's a crazy roster. <laughs> Big, Eve, Missy <laughs> Elliott. Like, it's the most ridiculous. And it's produced by Just, I think, most of the shit. Wow. Shout out to Rod Digger, man. Miss you. I love, love you. Rod Digger. Yeah, Jersey. Shout out to the outsider. Shout out to everybody in Jersey. I owe somebody how's, else. how's he doing? Uh, I, well, I don't know because I haven't spoken to him. Okay. Um, I haven't heard anything from the outsiders in a very long time, musically. I, just the last I remember, Z was on Instagram doing some weird shit. So that's why I was asking oh. if he was doing okay. Somebody tweeted me and said that Lady London, the, the young lady I played last week, the verse is Chino XL's niece. Oh, oh yeah. really? Which would make a lot of sense. Absolutely. <laughs> did you know that Kanye West and Matt Dre were first cousins? I did not know that. No. I did not know that. <laughs> like at all. Yeah. Tell us more. <laughs> no, said they just Who else is related? <laughs> no, they just first Who else cousins. is in your family? Uh, no, not my family. <laughs> yeah, Maul is first cousins with you. Yeah. Yeah. And Mac no. Dre. <laughs> no. And, and, and West Side Rest Gun. in peace to Mac Dre. No. <laughs> and West Side Gun. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that family tree. That's a sick They're tree. They're talented. I need the only nigga without tree. a SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get a SoundCloud pop. You should. I ain't oh, we, you know my my, net, my artist name though. Yeah, yeah. We have we have we have yeah. Ooh, What is it? Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> they're chill, not you know? ready. Nah, nah. They're, they're not ready. ready. Joe, Joe just doesn't know that I'm gonna release my album through the Joe Button Podcast SoundCloud that's vacant right now. So I, 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 Joe does know that. I told Parks about a whole plan to stall that at 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> and that's why you're still number one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, but, no, 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 no. No, I would be number one. But if it doesn't work out for you, I would be number one. Well, yeah. you know all them shit, the shit you were tweeting about your friends not really trying to be your friends and trying <laughs> I, to hold your I success? Support you. <laughs> Pebble supports you guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said to TLC. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That was funny earlier. That was. Uh, wait, all right, wait. you guys. You, you did. <laughs> say, say one more word. I'm going to push style shit back. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you did? <laughs> oh, no, it's a, it's a few it's a few people that have uh, approached me with uh, opportunities about nothing, zero, zilch. That's the end of the sentence. Opportunities. Yo, act. I apologize for everything I said. Maybe you and I could do. <laughs> maybe you and I could do a show together. <laughs> I would watch the You and Act show. I would never do a show with you. But, but, but I would watch it if it happened. And the Mall and Act show. I would watch that. <laughs> I would never do, do y'all need to list the shows I would watch? I would never do a show with This actually. quarantine shit got shit fucked up. I done watched all my shows. That's a, that's a very good <laughs> oh, point. Hey. Uh, McMillions ended. Good. Good. Yeah. Get that bullshit out of here. <laughs> Give a fuck what Johnny Colombo was doing. I started watching the uh, Ted Bundy shit. Ted Bundy? Which Uni- one? No. Unabomber. Uh, Unabomber. It was not the same Which one, one that came out last. Well, it, it was released in 2018. The one with his real, his real voice. It has like audio told by, clips yeah. in it. Yeah. 
That's new, no? That's new. I think it's new to Netflix, but it says 2018 on the thing. It's new to Netflix, new to Netflix. for sure. So I, knew, I thought it was... I knew I wasn't crazy. I thought it was the one that came out like last year or whatever when they did no, that no, series. No, 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 I saw that one too. Yeah, this, this one was, was real good one. with his voice. Yeah, when I saw 2018, I was like, oh, why are they putting that old shit back up on the top of my shit? Same thing with Yo, you. I'm the pop. guy that's in the crib now just clicking shit. Oh, well, oh that's going to be me I, for I, the next I've been that guy. Did you watch Peaky Blonders? You know, it's a new season. Oh, that's a good show. I've never seen an episode. Oh, that's a good show. You would like Peaky Blonders? No. Oh, go. You might not like it because there's accents and shit. Put the subtitles on there. There's accents. <laughs> Don't like that with words or you're gonna, accents. You're going to love that shit. Not like girls in real life with some with accents. <laughs> that That's a great thing to have. With accents in real Isn't life? That, I'll watch, that. watch Peaky Blinders. Um, I'm probably going to watch the, the newest season of Peaky Blinders, the, uh, Narcos uh, Mexico. Do you want me to watch the Sons of Anarchy? Nah. I'm, Sons Pe- of Anarchy Pe- was actually a good show. Peaky Blinders is better than Sons of Anarchy, though. Yes, it is. Peaky Blinders was amazing. So if you haven't seen it, this is some time you can catch up on that. Uh, Narcos Mexico um, Yeah Gotta kill some time I guess What shows are y'all going to To watch with a girl Like that's where The disconnect is coming Oh murder mysteries uh, Porn <laughs> Porn with the storyline uh, little, little Sarah J <laughs> Little Sarah J <laughs> That's the mood Yo yeah, <laughs> you, you like Sarah J <laughs> You like you, you ain't gonna just throw that name kid like <laughs> casually out there like that's your go to. You still search Sarah J? <laughs> still Don't working? try to say still. <laughs> Don't try to say still. You go to her old footage. That's like, not oh. my search. Sarah that's, J is not my search. That's, 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 cookies? that's his rock him. <laughs> <laughs> that's his rock him. <laughs> Lisa Ann is my search. Vanessa Blue is my search. Hey, you still in the nineties, bro? Yeah, like, what's up? There's mad no. new fire porn no, stars. I stay, I stay in the nineties. I don't. I don't I, leave the nineties. I got into some nineties. Fam, recently. you ain't seen. You ain't seen Autumn who's, Falls yet. Who's new? My youth. Who's Who's new? Tell me. Autumn Falls is getting busy out here. She's fire. And I I'm think not, she's I from New York. Her. Oh, for real? Oh, shit. that's a DM, nigga. That's not a porn. <laughs> 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 the fuck are you talking about? Autumn Falls. I'm in that DM. <laughs> nah, D- Jenna Fox getting all the bread out here. <laughs> she in every scene. Every time it's a threesome, it's with her. Once Harley <laughs> Dean retired, man. Game ain't been the same. How, she retired? Yeah. Jada Fire hit me, said she wants to come to the podcast. She's more than welcome. Uh, that's what I said. <laughs> When's she coming? <laughs> On a Thursday. <laughs> 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 I said that right I'm up. not doing that. Yo, I know, yeah. no, I know yeah. you said that right <laughs> We out of here. I'm Yo, not Thursday doing was good. <laughs> oh, <we out> <laughs> What's up? Oh, We're, doing no epi- We're doing two episodes that day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't know Harley Dean uh, retired. Uh, or, uh, she retired? You, she, you sound fans. so <laughs> Rory. She, I ain't seen a, scene, a new scene no. in a while. But her footage but is she was up. just a I'm Barry Sanders move. Hey, like yeah, he was too yeah, early yeah, to retire. Yeah, yeah, hey, Rory yeah, talking about porn early. stars that retired. I got a list of just regular <laughs> chicks that just <laughs> <laughs> that just stopped doing some shit. I'm like, yo. Word. Yo, yo what was the Asian girl from uh, Sue's name? <laughs> So? Oh, uh, China. <laughs> yeah, China. We're China. <laughs> that was nice. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure. Corona. I remember I was young. I, I had to sit in the uh, under twenty one section. I used to watch her. <laughs> she was a sick. Here, the under twenty one section. Bob and King. That's, That's China. I thought we was talking to Sharice. What are we doing? All right, nigga. Let me finish this. Let me finish this part. I'm done. All right. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to push this album back. (laughs) I got to hear this story. I can't tell you. I can't tell. I should have told Parks. I was just freestyling at eight in the morning, tired. But it was funny. That's just how, funny. how shady you are. We should cut all this because there was a long pause of nothing. I was on the phone, nigga. Let Beach shit rock. <laughs> uh, listen, life is a series of moments. <laughs> hey, you better appreciate them shits now. The moments? Yes. Yeah. Appreciate every single moment, man. Uh, but we're going to be all right. We're going to be all right. We are going to be all right. Album coming soon. <laughs> Rory's album is coming soon. <laughs> True. Emotional Orange's album coming soon. It all is. of Parks' whole roster's album is coming soon. True. Got a lot Mall, of time to finish Mall, it. Mall SoundCloud coming soon. 
Yeah, I got some shit coming soon. Listen, man, thank you for joining us. Life is a series of moments and moments past, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Until next time, hopefully, God willing, we get a next time. I bid you farewell. Hasta la vista. Arrivederci. Adios. So long, goodbye. All of that good shit, man. Y'all hold it down. Enjoy the weekend. Stay safe out there. Stay quarantined. What does quarantine mean? There's a bar. Who knows? Within. Isolation. I've been mm. isolated before the isolation. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you know. No, I've been, I've been you know, quarant- we're getting out of here. Don't you, don't you worry. <laughs> no, you been, stay right there. I've been quarantining my feelings for quite some time. <laughs> Very careful process seeing who you want to be quarantined with. Oh, man. We thought snow dates were tough. Oh, yeah. please. Like, if you ain't checked the weather, woke up in her crib and you were snowed in, like, fuck. You got to hit, hit your means. boo with the cleanest pussy. <laughs> <laughs> You got to hit your little hypochondriac bay. <laughs> the chick that was worrying no, about shit on here, but you know. it's time now. Some chick. It's, it's, it's time now. to worry now. Time. <laughs> yeah, we good? You got to go with a resourceful chick. You know the resourceful chick. Oh, yeah. Keep her near you. For sure. In these, in these trying times. Well, those is my go for is the resourceful chicks. Yeah. I don't know. I never land with them. <laughs> How are you going to fare without uh, your chef? Why am I without my chef? Because <laughs> he's quarantined. No, he bought food. (laughs) (laughs) Quarantine your ass in his kitchen. (laughs) Make this meatloaf, nigga. (laughs) All right, we out of here, man. Yo, today was a real good podcast. Yeah, it was good. It was a real good podcast. Uh, I will talk to y'all on Wednesday. We will talk to y'all on Wednesday. Have a blast. Enjoy yourself. We out of here, man.